Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another Padded Gamer production. Um, yeah. Hello YouTube! We are gonna be doing some more Nova Drift in this video today. If this video gets edited down in the future, uh, this is probably gonna be the part you see. You're probably not gonna see the next 10 minutes, which is just us, uh, waiting for people to join in. I'm probably not even gonna be talking much. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing Nova Drift again. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going to, it's going to be great. It's going to be great, dude. Uh, I did recently start the Padded Shorts channel, which, uh, if you're watching this video, it's probably like a month, a month, uh, a month into the Padded Shorts channel. But for me, it's only been a few days and, uh, the results have been lacking. First video got us zero views. The only like we got was from my best friend, uh, Scott. But, you know, that that's expected when you start a new channel from scratch. No subscribers, no nothing. I mean, our main channel gets seven views uh, a live stream. So, you know. I'm trying to get a presence on YouTube because I've always had a presence on Twitch. But I have never had a presence on YouTube like at all uh which kind of sucks because uh it's the number two gaming platform right now you know with twitch being the number one of course and kick being the number 100 am i right i don't even know why i stream to kick everyone hates kick but like i just stream to it because like why not it's one of the big platforms right now and it does get me viewers once in a blue moon you know, once in a blue moon, we find someone um, who's actually on kick. Um, you know, what sucks about kick right now is there are no tags. There are no tags right now because it's an early access. It's an early access website, uh, you know. So a lot of features have not been developed, like uh, like a tagging system you know, would be very, very appreciated because then it would be easier for people to find, you know, content, especially, you know, uh, big, especially like small streamers and stuff. You know, that's usually how small streamers like me on Twitch get like views, but they don't have a tagging system. So what are you going to do? I mean, it says it right on the tin, like next, I believe next to the kick logo, it says like it's early access or something. So, like, you know, you get what you don't pay for. And, you know, Kick is a much smaller site than uh, than Twitch or YouTube. Fingers crossed that they don't get bought out by Google or Amazon. That would suck ass. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised if Microsoft was like, hey, what if we had our own, our own live streaming service and bought out Kick? I wouldn't even be surprised. All of these websites are sellouts. All of these websites are owned and funded by sellouts. Uh, YouTube, YouTube sold their website for like an insane amount of money back in the day. And, you know, the, the, the inventor of YouTube just went and retired. Uh, because, you know, he was filthy rich uh, due to being a sellout. Uh, the Twitch CEO eventually gave in and sold out to uh, Amazon. And it's only a matter of time before Kick does the exact same thing. Uh, because history repeats itself. Yay! Uh, but yeah, the only reason I stream on Kick, despite how much it's hated, is purely because at least it's an independently owned website, I believe, for now. I think Kick is owned by Kick. Which is such a rare thing. Websites being owned by the actual creator of the website is such a rare thing to find on the internet these days. So, you know, while yes, there's XQC and a bunch of like banned streamers from Twitch who everyone hates, uh, I, I am always going to support the independent websites. I don't, I don't really care. Look, I used to use 
as a backup service, I used to use uh, this one like YouTube competitor that eventually went bankrupt. I used to use that back in the day uh, before they just went bankrupt because they were not sellouts. And that's why I supported them. Look, I don't give a crap who's on the platform. Like, there's a lot of people who people hate on uh, on Twitch. And there's a lot of people that people hate on uh, on YouTube. And, you know, it's no different with Kick. At least Kick is, like, kind of owned independently. Uh, I'm here. Hello, Cliff, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing? But yeah, also putting up, putting myself out there on three different websites is a good idea in general because that means that there's more uh, discovery. There's more ways that people can discover my content. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Cliff. We had to uh, delay the stream a little bit. Definitely not because I need changes. I mean, what? You didn't hear that. <laughs> wow there are only two people streaming nova drift right about now i just fucking hit my head way too hard ouch ouch dude that sounds painful that sounds painful you should you should get some ice I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the streams VC. We're going to start a VC. But yeah, I slept in way too much. That's why the stream got delayed. Um, live stream at 10 a.m. MST. Almost said MSG for a second there. You know, like the sodium that's in like, you know, foods. Um... Do, 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 do. Right, so yeah, we've got uh we've got we've got Nova Drift going on. Um but yeah, I'm gonna be uh in a few minutes here. I mean we're at the eight minute mark. We might as well start. Where is my controller? I know my cat knocked it over. It was on the bed. And then my cat decided I'm gonna bonk it right off the bed was on the edge of the bed. Um no my goddamn controller's here somewhere. <laughs> uh maybe I'll use the Joy Cons today. Cause I can't seem to find the goddamn controller. God dang it, dude. I really don't want to have to set up my controller because then I got to Bluetooth it. Got to set up the Bluetooth and all of that. Where the dog on hell is it? Oh. I'm trying to find my controller over here and I cannot find it. Professional streamer. Oh my gosh, dude, where is it? I'm guessing I must have picked it up once I... Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Found it. It was underneath my chair. We're good. We're good, chat. We can play some Nova Drift. We don't have to play Bellatra today. I was seriously considering stream uh switching games, but no no we're good. Alright, um I am gonna play some Nova Drift. Uh let me close out some tabs. There we go. Uh there we go. Now it feels like streaming it. There we go, everybody. Do let me know if there's any, like, issues. 
I know that yesterday we were having a lot of issues with the bitrate. I know, like, that was going on. Uh, I'm gonna go with swords for our first run of the day. I always like a good sword run, a good sashimi. Come here. No, no, no. Ah. Oh, I still got him. Let's go. I'm gonna grab Bastion, of course. There we go. Ah! I ran right into that. That was my bad. Uh, Firefly, Hull Breaker. I'm very tempted to go Hull Breaker, but I will probably go the cla the engineering build route. Just embrace the constructs. Uh, we want masochism as much as possible. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for shield durability. Look at how fat our shield is. Come here, Mr. Beetle Man. Just that easy? Okay, our uh, our construct blew up, but that's okay. Um, I will grab barrier. Yes, please. Uh, I will probably grab reflective shield. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Uh, I could grab regeneration. That might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna grab drones. The sooner we get drones, the better. There we go. Obsession, um, I'm probably gonna go for kinetic boost. Skirmish is really good. Uh, we could go for Omni Shield, but that would be suicide with Bastion. That's like the worst thing you could possibly do. Uh, I don't really care about shield effect radius. I really want more armor, if I could have that, please. Uh, we'll take adaptive armor, I guess. I really wanted a hull upgrade. I really wanted that plus 20% hull so we could get Juggernaut, but that didn't happen. Which sucks. Oh, I'm gonna get Rebuke. The sooner we can get core shielding, the better. Oh god, we're dying. We might actually die here. I'm gonna be honest, we did not get the tech that we needed. We probably should have went for regeneration as well. There we go, everybody. Um, I'm gonna grab priority zero. Come here, boy. There we go. Uh, Aegis, when you're not thrusting. I, I mean, I guess. I guess. You know what? Sure. Jesus, 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 take the wheel. Okay, uh, we got out of that black hole, which is good.
Uh, I'll grab Defiance. Anything that's gonna make us uh, take a few more hits is always nice. Make us able to take a few more hits, I should say. Um, if you could just... There we go. Come here. Damn it! I hate that, dude. I hate that. I hate that he sticks to the corners so you'll screen warp uh, when you try and attack him. It's very annoying sometimes. It can be quite annoying. Okay, uh, we could go for a ricochet. Meh. I'm gonna grab channeling. That should help us with our regeneration and stuff. So we're a little bit healthier. There we go. Come on. If I could kill this guy anytime this Christmas, that would be very nice. There we go. There we go, everybody. We're gonna grab a turret. Probably gonna grab tactical link. I'm gonna grab a point defense. Come here. I'm gonna stab this guy to death. There we go. Uh, I could grab Grace Protocol. I'm probably gonna grab War Machine, honestly. There we go. Uh, Sanctuary. When your shield protects you, create a large sanctuary on the battlefield that slowly follows you. Your shield still protects you from damage, but shield's effects originate from the sanctuary. When While you are outside the sanctuary, your shield effects are disabled and your shield cooldown is just... I don't know if I really want that. I've never tried it, but uh, screw it. Screw it, dude. I don't know what this is about to do. Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, God! Okay, don't die. Would prefer not to die, please. Oh, yeah, look. It slowly follows me around. Look at that. That's awesome. Dude, what the heck? That's cool. Uh, I'll get Death Blossom. So yeah, we just have this uh, big old bubble to follow us, which is interesting. Come here. Ah! Okay, well, that could have gone better. That could have gone a lot better. Uh, I'm gonna grab regeneration. But yeah, look, our shield is also really fat now, which is uh, very nice. There we go. Uh, I could get counter artillery. I think I will. So, you know, we have a little bit more defenses. Yeah. The sooner we get our turret maxed out, the better. Uh, we'll get overclock as well. So now our turn is going to do even more for us than it would normally do. Okay, this is kind of bad. Uh, get a second turret down. That way we have maximum defenses. Run away! I couldn't run fast enough. My god, dude. Yeah, I could physically not outrun that attack. That sucked. Yeah, I'm not sure that Sanctuary was what we wanted. You see, I didn't quite understand what a Sanctuary was. I didn't realize that when it said slowly follow you, I thought it was going to be like Bastion. 
I thought it was going to be like Bastion, not a big old like circle around you. Now that would be great with Railgun, and now we know that. But uh, yeah, that was that was different than I expected it to be. Uh, you know, this game could do with better wording when it comes to like power ups and stuff. It could definitely do with uh with better English, uh rather than just like overly complicate things and like you know explain them this way well i guess like most of these are like are fairly accurate i think that sanctuary though should tell you that it's a big giant circle around you it should really tell you that when it means slowly because slowly can mean a lot of things um in this game it should really tell you that slowly means it is fucking slower than molasses. And that if you don't stay in one place the entire time, you're dead. It should say that. Like, if you, if, you know, in a big radius around you or something, right? Something that would, that would get, that would uh, make it a lot more clear and concise. That, okay, I don't want this for a melee build. But I do want this if I ever go ahead and get like a uh, like a railgun build. Now I know that super mod is there, right? Now I know to go for like Aegis and stuff and emergency systems when I'm uh, when I'm doing a railgun build. But yeah, most of the items in this game are pretty clear and concise. Especially when we compare it to the English that goes on in a Blotro, where like half the time it just doesn't explain things right to you. Uh, this game does a pretty good job of it overall, uh, you know, explaining like different things and whatnot. Uh, I might go Sentinel, but uh, I'm thinking Courser. I think if we do the classic Courser strat, we go for targeting immediately. Uh, we go for Guidance. And now we just melt Spitfire. There you go. Get wrecked, buddy. Get wrecked. Oh, gosh. Uh, banish all mods offered to you. I don't know about that one. Uh, I'll get improved thrusters, you know what? Make my little ship even faster. Gosh, I really hope I don't die. I'm at half health right now, which is kind of scary, and I don't have a lot of shields. Uh, I'm gonna go homing strike. Uh, I might go, st uh, Streamline. I'm gonna go, uh, Regeneration. Or do we go Shield Effect? No, 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 we go Regeneration so we can heal faster. That would be preferable. And then we go Regenerative Shields. Yeah, it, uh, we need some, uh, we definitely need some weapon mods. You know, something to increase our damage. But for now, this is kind of okay. I mean, I say that and we're at, like, negative health. Because we didn't do enough damage against those basic enemies. At least we, uh, at least we've got regeneration on our side, so... It, not as painful um i'm probably gonna go uh volley there we go oh gosh that was not good I'll be honest, that was not the greatest. There we go. Efficiency is not what we're looking for. Burst fire is not what we're looking for. 
Streamline. Uh, I'm probably gonna go Adaptive Armor. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Everything's going all right. I wouldn't say we're in the best shape, but we're starting to get there. Um, I'm not sure that we want heavy caliber. Uh, I will take convergence. More targeting, more better. There we go. Uh, damn it, if I could just... There we go, everybody. There we go. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Okay, 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 we're good. Rapid reconstruction, I would have rather gotten a uh, shield regen. Uh, I guess I'll grab shield durability. Yeah, because I want to keep the amp shield uh, strat going. Uh, barrier. I'm going to go with focus fire. So that way that we have significantly less weapon spread. Uh, which will be really nice for focusing down enemies. Oh, oh my good god. Why were there so many dudes? What happened? They s Oh my god, dude. This is why I never go torrent. This is why I never go torrent builds. They suck. Um, I'm gonna grab railgun. Jesus, he just did half my HP in one- in the, like, two bullets. Could you die? Thank you. Uh, we do not want orbital. Uh, reflect. Halo. I might go shockwave, honestly. I'm feeling the shockwave here. There we go. There we go, everybody. Uh, Courser. Uh, we could, we could. I'm probably gonna go Battery. And then Rush for targeting. Oh my god, dude. I hate those guys. Could you... Could you please die? Like, preferably in real life? I'm just gonna grab, uh, we're gonna grab targeting. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take targeting with me. There we go. Yes. Perfect. We blew everything up. All right. You know, maybe we don't need targeting. Nah, we probably do. Probably do want it. The less aiming we have to do, the better. The only problem is, is a lot of the uh, targeting mods do take away velocity. And we want to get Calibrate, too. Uh, yeah, I want to get Outrage Module. Uh, I will go for Raw Hull Strength. Just more HP is more better. Yeah, we got to face up against Spitfire, which sucks. Okay, there we go. There we go, dude. 
Shit, 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 shit. Okay. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, okay, run away, run away, run away. Yeah, railgun builds always start off fucking terrible, dude. They always start off, like, awful. There we go. There we go, everybody. Alright. Uh, we could do regeneration. I mean... Uh, I'd rather have rapid fire, though, so we can get burst fire. There we go, everybody. There we go, blow that guy up. Now that I'm getting better at aiming, like, Railgun's doing a lot better for me. It's doing a lot better. There we go. I'm learning how to aim in this game. Uh, come here. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, homing strike could be very, very nice. Just some more assistance! I hate swarm units in this game. I hate them. They're just so powerful, dude. They're, like, insanely strong. Oh god, oh god, please. Get out of the way, asshole! God! These enemies, dude! Jesus. Okay, magnitude, there we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, please. Oh god, oh god, why? Okay, um, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab payload, obviously, because we could do it some more damage. Why won't anything die? Just die! Okay, okay. Okay, if you've ever doubted my skills, we managed to beat that, despite doing, like, no damage to anything. Uh, yeah, I'll get Splinter. Now our bullets splinter off into more bullets, which is nice. I wish we got any sort of velocity upgrades, you know. You know, the whole fucking point of this build. Um, there we go. Burst fire could be really nice. Now we should be effectively doing twice as much damage. Well, three times as much, I think. Uh, I will get siege weaponry. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere with this railgun build. Now we are indeed somewhere. There we go. Okay, okay. Now everything's starting to go okay. There we go. There we go. Perfect. 
Uh, we're gonna get mastery, obviously. There we go, everybody. We got the wave 40 boss to deal with, which is pretty scary. But, uh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, we do no damage once again because we have no velocity. Could you shut up, game? I know there's vulnerabil vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities. I just, I can't, I can't control where all my bullets go because targeting sucks in this game. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's not good that he rammed me. We might be dead just because he rammed me. Uh, we're, we're very slowly regening health, so I don't, I don't know if we'll be okay. I'm just gonna say we'll be okay. Get out of the way! Jesus. I gotta be very careful not to get just rammed and killed by him. Okay, get out of the way. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of bullets. Yeah. I am just spamming down the fire blend to get siege weaponry going as much as we can. Okay, we are slowly whittling him down. We are we are taking him out one step at a time. God, I hate those missiles. Almost took out my shields. But almost not good enough! Ha! We destroyed his ass, dude. Uh, I will get absorption. Could you imagine if we had Juggernaut already? That'd be nice. There we go. There we go. Come on. Rent. Just shoot his ass. Literally shoot his ass. I hate those guys. I hate those guys. Luckily, they can't do much damage to me because, you know, I'm a ramming ship. You know, I'm a, I'm a battery ship. Um, can you die, like, preferably in real life? I'm gonna get condensants so we can burn them. Wait, why do I no, do no burning damage? Does it not give burning damage to non-burning weapons? I thought it gave burning damage to non-burning weapons. Huh. I mean, corro I know corrosion well, at least. There we go. Uh, I will get I will get purge because uh, that's always useful. I mean, I say it's useful. Ah! Oh! Why? I had like 50 billion HP, dude. That should have, that should not have killed, period. That's fucking bullshit. I had like 50 billion HP, dude. Why even have HP then? Hey, Pad. Hey, Fire. I'm fucking pissed off, dude. I'm fucking pissed at that last death. Why even have HP in a video game if it doesn't do anything? Why? Why even have armor or HP upgrades or any of that? Bruh. 
Bro, that's fucking bullshit. My health bar was as big as the screen. Like, my health bar took up, like, half the screen real estate. Oh my god, dude. Could you imagine getting velocity on a fucking railgun build? Getting snipe or calibrate on a railgun build? That'd be nice. That'd be wonderful, dude. But no, we always get, like, fucking velocity on, like, a fucking split shot build or a fucking sword build. That's great. That's great. You know, where it's completely useless? It's great. It's great. It's great, dude. Um... We could go down the Omni Shield path. Honestly, nah, nah, that'd be dumb. I will still get this though because of barrier. Barrier is just really nice, even if we don't get Omni Shield. Like, just having barrier is nice. Especially when we don't have a lot of shields to begin with because of our ship build. Bro. Could you? Could you please? God, I don't like that. Why did I screen warp, bro? I stopped like an hour ago. But well, whatevs. Oh my god, dude. I had like so much fucking HP, bro. That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna grab Guidance. So, you know, our bullets will actually go where they're needed. Damn it! I hate those. I'm gonna grab homing strike. Um, we're probably gonna grab firing array. I'm gonna grab convergence. There we go, everybody. All the targeting upgrades. We now have heat-seeking bullets, essentially. Again, why even have HP if it does nothing? Like, I just lost all my health in, like, four hits. Could you, like, please die, preferably in real life? Thank you. Uh... If you could just kill yourself, that'd be great. I'm not mad at all, Fire. I'm not mad at all at this video game. I, I am calm and collected. I am feeling very rational. Um, I'm probably gonna get Maelstrom. There we go. There we go, dude. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll go rapid fire because then we can get warpath and siege weaponry, which are very, very good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab warpath probably. Oh, let's go bravado. Bravado's good. There we go. Singularity detected. Not the best. I do hate the black holes. Just because of the uh, earlier days. I've said this like 10,000 times already. But like in the early, early access days. There used to be black holes every 5 nanoseconds. It was very annoying. So every time I see one I'm just... I'm just conditioned to be annoyed by it. Um, I'm gonna grab focus fire. There we go. A little bit less weapon spread is never a bad thing. Uh, I'm gonna get fuselade. Look at the amount of bullets I fire, dude. Oh my god. I'm just like, I fire a circle of bullets, dude. Just gonna abuse screen warping as you do. Oh wow, we do a lot of damage, actually. We do, like, an insane amount of damage. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Look at this, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, these guys have railgun, but, like, on steroids. Like, they have, like, supercharged Omega railgun. Which is, uh, scary. To say the least. Um, Grandeur. Crash damage to targets. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna take that. Propulsive munitions, sure. Uh, velocity, nah. Uh, we're gonna. T Do I take condensants? Meh. I'm gonna get Scorching Wake, though. There we go. There we go, dude. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll get evolutionary niche. That's pretty good. Oh man. Dude, look at how much damage we do. Oh my gosh. We've stumbled upon a pretty decent build. And now that I've called it nice, I'm going to jinx myself. And we're going to die. Because that's usually how it works on these streams. <laughs> oh no, chat. Look, don't worry. I'm not going to get cocky, okay? It's the last thing I want to do. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, hey, hey. I'd like to not die, please. I, I would prefer if you didn't. Kill me! Okay. Uh, mastery? Yes, please. There we go, everybody. There we go. Look at this, dude. Wow, he is still not dead. Man, these guys have a little bit too much HP, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna... I'm, that's an understatement of the year. Those guys have a lot too much HP. Considering how much I was doing before. Uh, I'll get blast damage... Anything that's going to help us with a little bit more DPS is, like, 
uh, appreciated. There we go, everybody. There we go. Uh, I will get Warpath, yes please. I've been waiting for that for a while now. There we go. There we go, everybody. There we go, dude. Ow! Stop it, you... You jerk! You a-hole! Oh my god, dude. I hate these guys. I hate these guys! He just rammed me! I did not give consent to this ramming! <laughs> oh, gosh. When your shield takes a hit, it discharges energy. Uh, we could do that. I might go for, uh... Um, oh, siege weaponry. Now we can really, really do some shit. Now we can really fuck around. Okay, I gotta be very careful. I'm gonna watch my HP bar. It doesn't look like we're losing that much HP, actually, from a siege weaponry. Which is one of the reasons why you go with a battery build when you're doing split shot. It's one of the reasons. There we go. There we go, everybody. But yeah, one of the reasons to go for battery is uh, that... Do you have Essence Sap or Calibrate? Why would I have Calibrate on a split shot? Doesn't that not... Am I going crazy? Doesn't that not work? Because when the... When, when the Calibrate, like... Because Calibrate, you have to not fire. For the super mod. Oh. What what super mod? I, 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 I literally don't know. Um. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to get this probably. Oh gosh, oh gosh, hey, hey. We gotta be careful about the recoil when we uh when we do siege weaponry. There we go. We we have become a minigun, which is nice. Boop, 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 don't get sucked, don't get zucked. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Yeah, you know what? The boss fight's not already hard enough. Let's give this idiot a uh, fucking black hole. Saturation fire plus calibrate plus siege. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I guess we do go down the velocity path then. Um, I'm gonna grab adaptive armor. That is one thing I don't like about the super mods is, and I realize that I realize that you can look up how to um you can you know you can go over here and look at every single uh super mod and how to get them 
But I don't like how you can't naturally discover some of these because, you know, you'd have to be stupid to go for Calibrate, right? Not knowing that satur Saturation Fire exists, you would have to be dumb to go for uh, Calibrate. Like, it makes no sense to me why, why in any sort of natural sense you would go for those two upgrades together. You know, there's no natural discovery there, which is something I prefer, which is something that's missing in this roguelike. You know, uh, other roguelikes like, um, like, uh, like Bellatro and stuff. Yeah, you see the super mods with the rec prerequisites, but what I'm saying is that what feels a lot better in other roguelikes is the natural discovery. The fact that you can just, you know, put, you don't have to, like, you know, read, read a guide, essentially, that's built into the game. If you if you put together a really good build, then it's going to reward you for having a build that synergizes well. Whereas this game, you gotta you gotta look it up every single time, and I don't know, I just I just don't find that as rewarding as a natural discovery in other games. But maybe that's just my personal preference. I just prefer like. You can see Saturation Fire when looking at the Siege Weaponry upgrade. Wait, really? But yeah, um... Again, that still, that still goes back to the, uh... Having to basically look at a guide, essentially. <laughs> looking at what the game tells you to do. But, you know, I mean, the super mods are still a lot of fun, though. They're still a lot of fun. I just like, you know, natural discovery a bit more. Just, um, randomly finding cool shit. Which is what I like about this game, honestly, is that, you know, you can put something together. Like, I never knew that Engineer and, like, uh, and Swords would give you four swords. Like, I'm gonna go for a sword build. Uh, I could go for Landmines. Uh, we could go for priority zero. I'm probably gonna go for elegant construction first and foremost So that way that our swords have a bit more durability. I believe that's how that works uh, Yes, yes shielded constructs Now only my sides are protected is like the only downside right now is that I'm only protected at the sides which, you know, maybe I should have waited until I had drones. But, uh, you know, we live with our choices. But yeah, now my swords have a hilt. Look at that, they have a little hilt now. Come here. Come here, butt boy. Butt boy. And you're not firing. Uh. Stabilization. Um, yes, please. Now that I actually have it mapped to a button that makes sense. Like, who thought that L3 was a good idea? L3. What is this? A PlayStation 3 game? When they were going through the weirdness of like, smash the L3 button to crawl. Oh yeah, that's, that, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Agility. Rotation speed. Yes. Rotation speed. I can stab better. Look at this stabbing now. Chi uh, chimeric thought it was Cymeric? Is that is that the developer of this game? Thought it was a good idea, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I just, I don't... I, I don't understand why L3. It just, it's like, it's the same, and also, if it was R3, if it was clicking in R3, that would make perfect sense, right? 
because here's the thing you move with the left stick and now what you're gonna you're gonna completely stop and then uh you're gonna stop what you're doing and press the and click the stick in it doesn't feel right to me it doesn't feel right to move and then click the stick in like i i don't know if it was r3 i'd be like okay i don't like that and i'll still change it but at least it makes sense you know, you got this entire stick that you don't really use. Uh, and I do realize it's a twin stick shooter. And you can absolutely use uh, the other stick for, like, micro adjustments and stuff. But my point is, is that the R3, the right stick is not your main control, right? Your R3 doesn't do anything unless you're speeding up anyway. So having it as as the uh, as the stabilize would, would make a lot more sense. Is basically where I'm going with that. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But yeah, I will go saturation fire the next run. The next run that we do split shot. I just want to do a sword run right now. Because sword runs are so cool, man. They're so cool. But yeah, now we know. Now we know at least that saturation fire... I should probably look at some of these mods. You know what? What super mods have we got here? Is there anything that would be good with swords? Calibrate plus siege weaponry. Okay. Vital bond. We've got mortar. We've got rancor. Charge shot plus absorption. Charged mines. Oh, what if we went rancor with a, uh, with a vortex build? Sanctuary. Uh, we know about that one. Uh, this one is perfect for railgun, I remember. Antimatter rounds is payload plus concentrated blast. I'm guessing that's also railgun. Saturation fire swords with guardians? I'm sorry, what? Saturation fire with swords? What? How does that work? Dude, I'm like having my mind blown over here. Uh, I'm gonna get a turret. I'm gonna get point defense. Uh, evolutionary niche. Counter artillery. Ally. Come here, beetle boy. Beetly boy. Could you not move out of the way? Could you not? Could you stop what you're doing? Easiest boss fight of my life. LOL. Look at how much damage we're doing, dude. Okay, um... So, saturation fire is... Saturation fires calibrate. So none of these are gonna get me the saturation fire. Uh I don't want interceptor. You know, I'm probably gonna re-roll this. Honestly. Um saturation fires calibrate plus siege. Didn't you say Death Blossom is really good? Guardians reflect self damage with Medi Charge. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me that. That's why. I, that's kind of why I rerolled. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for raw hull strength, raw health, if you will, because uh, we have a Bastion. So realistically, only our front is protect. Why did that do so much damage to me? Why did that little tiny orb like take out half my HP? What? I'm sorry, what? One little Orby boy almost killed me. I'm sorry, what? Death Blossom is good with swords as long as you don't get shielded constructs. Uh, why not shielded constructs?
Like, I don't understand how that would affect Death Blossom. But maybe that's just me. Uh... I'm trying to understand how that would affect it. Is it just me or do half these items need better descriptions? Shielded Constructs disables Death Blossom. Why doesn't it say that anywhere in the description? Why doesn't it say that anywhere? That makes no goddamn sense to me. What the heck, man? NANI?! While your shield protects you. Oh my god. That's annoying, dude. That's just, that's annoying. Okay. I, I didn't read. Hello, Mike. Welcome to the stream. Did you hear about the recall from Tesla? What did they do now? Um. So to get saturation fire, we need calibrate and siege weaponry. So we need to get calibrate. And then... We need to get Siege Weaponry. I'm gonna go for Juggernaut. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna... Ooh, do we go for Defiance? Could you stop giving me Interceptor game? Could you fuck yourself? Uh, I'm gonna go... Um... Well, I guess we're not going shielded constructs because of Death Blossom. Then, uh, we should skip this path, right? Well, elegant construction is hard not to take, and so is self-destruction. Those are both very good. And shield effect radius does nothing. Yeah, let's go elegant construction, you know what? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, shield effect radius does not increase the size of your shield enough for it to be worth it it barely increases the size of your of your bastion at all in fact it barely increases it like it's barely noticeable uh targeting is not what we're looking for Uh, skirmish is probably what we're looking for. Um, what else? Blast radius. Force armor. Yes, please. I will never say no to force armor. In a, uh, in a melee build, at least. A melee build? Oh, easiest fight of my life over here. So easy, dude. Uh, I'll get Echo Strike, probably. Well, we could go Shield Durability, honestly. Uh, Deadly Wood. This could be really nice to get Blank. That could be really nice, but uh, I'm going to go shield durability uh, because I like not dying uh, because I'm really bad at this game, if you can't tell. And uh, I like not dying uh, quite a lot. There it is. Finally, dude. Okay, let's grab rapid fire. Jesus Christ, that took forever. There we go. Uh, terminate is probably what we want. You skip Death Blossom. I probably should have taken that. But also, Terminate was really, really good. Uh, Blitz. Or Essence Sap. 
You know, I might go S and Sap, honestly. Is that even a good idea with this build? I don't know. You could choose to just get shield constructs for Apex machinery. That is true. That is true. Yeah, because Apex machinery is actually really good. Phantom Strike is amazing. Okay. Go ahead and plant you there. We got multiple turrets helping to do our dirty work. And allies. Uh, I could get Defiance. We could also get Barrier. We could get Red... Well, Regeneration doesn't do anything now. So, Regeneration is useless to us. Uh, Magnitude... I'm probably gonna go Barrier. Yeah, barrier is always good. Means that. Oh, spoon. Uh, soon gen. What? I don't understand what those, what those words mean. There we go. Also, earlier in this stream, I finally figured out how to do a railgun build. It finally happened. Stop giving me Interceptor, you asshole. Okay, well, let's grab Shielded Constructs because of Apex Machinery existing. Spontaneous gener uh, generation. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. I think essence tap was a good idea. Essence tap, however you pronounce it. Uh, you probably do want reflexive shields, but I also want blitz. go dude there we go uh apex machinery there it is dude hell yeah there we go our uh, our shield broke but that's okay Uh, last stand is good. Uh, Tesla reco recalls cyber trucks over accelerator crash risk. It is because their accelerator pedals uh, currently risk getting trapped by the interior uh, trim, increasing the possibilities of crashes. How do you fuck that up? How do you manage to fuck? Surely that should have came up. In like testing do you even by US standards do you know how like picky we are with like car testing in the US we are like extremely picky even though we don't have a lot of safety standards but about a lot of things we like test cars to like their braking limits we always have since like since the jeep came out and we need the jeep to be able to survive uh world war ii that's when that's when we became one of the pickiest countries when it comes to the quality when it comes to at least safety quality of like vehicles you know and being able to do certain things 
like i don't know being able to accelerate without you like without the pedal getting stuck and you dying especially nowadays especially nowadays we've gotten way more strict in like modern times than we ever used to be and we were already pretty picky i would say about like certain things mind you we didn't have we didn't have like uh we didn't have seat belts until what like the 70s but like we were always picky about like basic things like does it work most valuable car company i know right like how does tesla manage to get past like our safety inspections because like that's the kind of thing that pops up in a safety inspection and they tell you no your car has to be delayed by several months i'm sorry it's not coming out this month uh you're being you're being audited and if you don't fix this like Like we like we crash cars into walls for like for like years before a car comes to market. So I'm just shocked how that gets past like everything. We like we like ram for God's sakes. We have Oh god, oh god, I can't move out of the way. Thank God for juggernaut. If we didn't have Juggernaut, we'd just be dead. We'd be dead right now. We'd be dead. Uh, 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 panic, panic, bottom panic, bottom panic. Okay, okay, okay. We just... Oh, God! Oh, wait, I had last stand. I forgot I had last stand. They're recalling thousands of them. So probably most, if not all of them. That is, that's not great, dude. We'll grab Warpath. But yeah, then again, I say, how did they pass the safety inspections? To be fair, we had, we had defective airbags in our cars for about a decade before they before we started realizing that they were a bit of a problem like pretty much over the course of a decade we had every car manufacturer uh basically uh recall their cars over the course of 10 years because of defective fucking like uh defective uh, uh airbags systems so you know and also the seatbelts, and we didn't have seatbelts till the 70s, you know. Decoy single, uh, Guardians are so nice, Juggernaut and Bulwarks, and we died. Damn it, dude. Well, we got a lot further in the run, I'll say that much. Their solution, replace the gas pedal. Uh, I mean... In theory, that should work, as long as it's a shorter gas pedal. But I also don't trust uh, Tesla to not just put an exact carbon copy. But as, I mean, technically, as long as the gas pedal is shorter, so therefore it's higher up, you know what I mean? Then in theory, that would fix it, because I'm guessing if it's rubbing against the interior, the gas pedal is probably too long and it's probably too close to the ground which again this all should have been measured out and tested before the car was sold to market but you know i digress all it would have taken is one intern one unpaid intern with a ruler and a lot of free time on their hands to be like hey boss uh the gas pedal's too long if that's the issue, that's hilarious, dude. If that's actually the issue is the gas pedal was just too long, that's hilarious that they didn't find that out in any sort of testing. That's that's comical. That's that's just that's oh my god, dude. Like that's the kind of thing you see happening in people's project cars that they put together 
themselves with beer cans and a bunch of free can uh, free time on their hands. You see that in project cars where they have like too long of pedals. That's not something you see in a stock car. That's not something you usually see in a stock car, as you can imagine. That's something you see in project cars that get people killed. Which at that point, you're the idiot putting in a gas pedal that was not compatible with the car. So, you know, and not like shaving it down or anything, you know, or cutting like half of it off, you know, the length off and then welding it, which, you know, in other news, Saudi Arabia had as much rain as, in a year as in a day recently. FYI, yes, they mess with the clouds for rain, so... Decoy Signal Guardians are nice. I have tested them in other runs. They're really nice. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, dude. Alright, let's go ahead and play uh, some Nova Drift. I might go ahead and do another Railgun build. Uh, do the classic Railgun plus Battery Strat. That I always like implementing because I can't aim, and it and if you have if you have enough bullets, then you don't need to aim. I'm gonna grab railgun. Oh, what should we go with? I'm very tempted to go amp, but I don't think that's a good idea because of the low shields. Uh, I'm not gonna go bastion for obvious reasons. Perhaps temporal. We might go temporal. We might go Shockwave. I'm kind of leaning towards Temporal. Uh, I'll go with Temporal. Oh, Jesus. Please don't kill me. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I guess I will fuck myself. Instead of getting a railgun build, I guess I'll fuck myself. 0 0.79 inches of rain, which seeing as it's a desert, is a tad much. 5.59. Yeah, we had, we had a similar issue in California, like a couple of years ago, and it caused actual mudslides and shit on the, uh, on the freeways, because the freeways were not built to handle the, uh, the rain that we had. Um, it was just an absorbent amount of rain for, uh, you know, the climate and everything. An exuberant, if you will. Come here, asshole. Die. There we go. Um. We could do Courser. I don't know how I feel about Courser. Uh, I'd rather do battery, honestly. Big and tanky. Could you die, preferably in real life? There we go. Ah! Just let me have a run! Just let me have a run! For reference, the average... You know what? The, the average uh, amount in the year for that area is 3.73 inches. That is not a lot of rain. Uh, I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna fake fuck it and we're gonna go salvo. Even though I think salvo is by far the weakest weapon in the game so far, I have not been able to get a build going with salvo at all. Uh, so far, I feel like it's a very underpowered weapon right now. Maybe that's just me, but uh, it, it's not that strong. And I don't know how you get it to be stronger. I've tried everything, chat. 
and I, uh, I just don't know what to do. I strongly disagree with you. I don't know, I just haven't been able to make a build with this weapon. It's just, it's... I, I add a bunch of targeting to my weapon, and, uh, it does nothing. I add a bunch of velocity to my weapon, and it does nothing. Salvo Scepter. We can try that. I hate the Scepter, dude. I hate Scepter. Oh, I hate Scepter builds because I'm so impatient. I don't like having to not shoot and not move and just not play the game. It's... I hate it, dude. But look, we could do that. We could do that. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. This is probably why I hate Salvo now that I think about it. It's because I'm a very impatient player. But yeah, I have always hated Scepter. Singular Strike, Homing Strike, Warp Strike, uh, Antimatter Round, Splinter. Singular Strike. Isn't the whole point of Salvo to fire like a billion missiles, I thought? I thought that was the whole point of it. It's weird. You mean to tell me the best way to play it is to not even play it the way the developer intended? Yeah, that's uh, that's a good weapon. That's a good weapon right there. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bagging on uh on Salvo, but like, man, it's uh, it's very okay. We're gonna try Salvo plus Scepter. I'm gonna grab probably. Do we go Temporal Amp Halo? I'm feeling temporal. You still fire a lot of missiles, but they're fatter. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was, I, I assumed because it's so called singular strike that, you know, it's one bullet, but like, I guess not, okay. I haven't used singular strike before. Um. Why did I grab battery? I instinctively grab battery because that's how I've always played it. That's how I've always played Salvo. Uh, I just instinctively grabbed it. That's my bad. That's, that's actually entirely my fault. We're not going to waste a level up and change it. I'm just going to abort the run, honestly. Uh... We're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. Especially with homing strike. Yeah. We're going to go... Uh, what would be the best shield for this? I'm probably going to go with temporal. Because it has 75% shields. Which is better than shockwave. Even though I think shockwave might be the better... You stockpile one missile at a time instead of multiple per interval. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. I see now. Also, is it just me or is the start of a salvo run fucking impossible like the start of a salvo run to me is like fucking nightmare feel and it's why i don't play this anymore why uh it's why i don't play this anymore on this difficulty because it just pisses me off to use uh because i always die in the first like five waves if i don't just die at like the wave 20 boss At least railgun, I like, I know I'm gonna get past the first boss if nothing else. Pretty easily. This, I, uh, I'm not too confident about. I'll be honest. Uh, 
This, I, I don't know. It might, it might take a couple of runs. Where the fuck? Where the, the one time I placed Scepter and it's gone. Thank you. I think it's your playstyle slash difficulty setting. Yeah, yeah, it's probably this. It's probably mostly my playstyle, if I had to guess. You know, I gotta admit, this isn't this isn't terrible. This is actually, at the very least, this start is better. I skipped it. Oh god damn it, dude! I hate when that happens, bro. We wasted a reroll. I will grab homing strike. I gotta admit, the start is so much better than when you go battery with uh, with salvo. This start is like so much better, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? You spawned on me, bro. I try. I like turn. Turning damage numbers on. You can turn damage numbers on? Hold up. Hold up one sec. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is that a setting? Uh. Auto firing. Oh, show damage numbers. Uh, we'll do that. Auto deploy drones and allies. Um, auto deploy turrets. We just don't want mines enabled because mines you actually generally speaking use as a weapon. At least I do. Uh, my play style is I use mines as a butt shot. It's a really nice butt shot. Which sounds like I'm talking about something very different. The big numbers on Scepter is satisfying. There we go, 240. Big number. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, you know what I was saying about uh, about S S Salvo? Uh, I have... I... I'm, I... Yeah. This is, this is actually way, way better than just going salvo and battery. Holy crap, dude. Also, my cat's clawing at the door. I need to get, I need to let her in. There you go, Bonnie. Be free. Be allowed in. Uh, yeah, obviously we want efficiency, right? Like, obviously, dude. Oh, but quantum discoherence. I prefer auto-deploy... Mines on when using charged mines. Okay, okay, that's good to know. But um, I typically like to use it as um, I typically like to just rev I typically like to uh, just rotate uh my back to the enemy and just and just poop out missiles and then just poop out mines. I'm sorry and just run. We could do that. We could do that build. Um, I'm gonna get bravado. Regeneration, stabilization. Um, we might go shield durability and just go omni shields. That might not be a terrible idea, right? Uh, outrage module, obviously. Uh, as a just in case. Uh, adaptive armor we could go with. Shield effect radius. Probably shield effect radius for now. Uh, evolutionary niche. There we go. Um, get barrier. Ultra rare mod explosive growth. Uh, yeah, let's take that. No Omni Shield. No Omni Shield as you want am anti-matter rounds. Okay. 
So do we want to go a hall build then? Like Juggernaut and whatnot? Let me see what we need to get uh, anti-matter rounds anyway. Payload and Concentrated Blast. Uh, and where the heck is Signal is Strike? Payload and Juggernaut. So we do want to go a hull build. Okay, okay. That's why we don't want Omni Shields. Gotcha. Bonnie! Bonnie's clawing at me because she wants, she wants pets. She wants all the pets. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Galvanic Outburst. When your shield takes a hit, we probably want that. And yes, that's gonna banish it, but now we don't have it in our item pool. Bonnie! Stop clawing me, bro. Stop clawing me. Um, I'm guessing we don't want Volley. I probably want to get Calibrate. Um... Yeah, I probably want to go down this route. For Incendiary Strike. There we go. Now we can... Now that we've got Calibrate, now we've got something going on. I'm trying to grab some XP. There we go. Dude. Dude, Scepter builds, man. You know, I've only ever done Scepter builds with uh, with Railgun, and I'm starting to realize that might have been a mistake. If anything, Railgun's better with battery, honestly. Honestly. Railgun is the one that's good with battery. That or Courser? The Courser, generally speaking, doesn't have enough health, so I like to go for the tankier option. Though, if we went Courser and Omni Shields, I'm just saying, just saying, and we had like blank. I'm just saying, that could be a build. Railgun Scepter is more skill based. Yeah, and you see, I, uh, I don't have skill on my side. Oh, gosh. Wow, this is crazy how much damage we're doing. Uh, probably Incendiary Strike. Targets hit by your weapon are ignited. Uh, yes, please. There we go. Uh, kinetic boost. We could go Radiant Shields. Honestly, give me Radiant Shields. There we go. Dude, come here. There we go. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, weaponized shields could be really nice. That way, that, um, we don't even have to fire to do damage. You know what I mean? Look at this. Wait, why don't my we- Do weaponized shields not work on bosses? I'm so confused. Or do- Or is it only in the mini- Oh, it's only the- It's only the smaller circle, right? I'm guessing- it's only the smaller circle. I, I'm guessing anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to do 
Oh god, oh god, get out of there. Yeah, the missiles have no idea where I am, so that's good. There we go, drain his HPs. Let's go, dude. Uh, ricochet, yes. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, we will get mastery, absolutely. There we go. Oh god, oh god, hey. Hey, if you could just stop, that'd be great. Uh, the further they have traveled, yeah, we probably want snipe, don't we? I would assume anyway. Look at how much my damage went up from having snipe. Increases damage dealt to enemies next to you. Oh, it doesn't kill them. It makes... Okay, I get it now. That makes sense. So if they're a little bit too close for comfort, then I'll do extra damage to them. That's fine, then. I'm fine with that. Oh, let's get a challenger, shall we? Come at me, bro. A challenger approaches. You know, fucking smash. Brothers. A uh, volley, we could, we could. Probably barrier. There we go. Need blast uh, radius for antimatter rounds. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, we are not getting it though. Uh, oh, I'm out of reroll. I don't have rerolls, right? I sacrificed them. Um, I don't think I really care about this. Well, actually, what does Streamline do for us? Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps. Nah, nah, probably not good for us. Kinetic Boost isn't good for us. Wait, actually, Kinetic Boost is good for us if we can get Aegis. But we could also get Magnitude. And Magnitude. Okay. We need Payload. There we go, everybody. Oh my gosh. This build slays. A-Tring, you are a god at this game. I'll say it, dude. This build absolutely changes everything that I thought I knew uh, about, Re about Salvo. Dude. This, this build is fire AF. There we go. We also need Juggernaut, I remember. So that's why I went with the extra haul. Uh, we do not want hidden power. Um, I might get Splinter, honestly. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Damage can get way higher. Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably once we get antimatter rounds, I can imagine it'll get even better. Come here, boy. I'm gonna cook his ass. I'm gonna cook his ass like a stew. There we go. A drone specialist. Uh, adaptive armor, focus shields. We do not want Omni Shield. Um, I will probably grab adaptive armor. There we go. Oh my god, we just click the button and everything just exploderates and dies. 
There we go. Oh crap, it's the Dweller. We'll be fine though. Final last words. Okay, uh, hidden power. Ooh, Granger. Yes. Uh, Death Blossom. Uh, also yes. Uh, Orbs of Discord could be really good. But we could also go Absorption. I will probably go Absorption. Propulsive Munitions and Heavy Caliber is really nice. If you don't mind the downsides. Yeah, I usually go with those upgrades anyway, so I probably don't mind the downsides. Need Payload. That's right, that's right. We do need Payload. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that, dude. We're just destroying him, dude. We're destroying this guy. You, you skipped it. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh no. The ADHD brain once again go burr. Is his weakness the front or the back? Like, am I supposed to be hitting him in the eye? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be hitting him in the eye. Never mind, I answered my own question. That does a lot more damage. I'm so used to every boss's weakness being their their back that I didn't realize that this guy, uh, his weakness is the front. I didn't realize that. That's my bad, everybody. His weakness is his big uh, minions. Oh, okay. Wait, when I destroy his minions, does that do damage to him? Is that how that works? Uh, another ricochet? How could I possibly say no to that? The big one specifically. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now we wait and fire at will. There we go, everybody. Ah! Almost got my ass blasted to Pound Town. Uh, yeah, we want charged. Oh, wait. Could go that path. Um. But burst fire is so good. Oh, I'm gonna go charge weapon though. What is this about to do? Oh! Oh, hello! So yeah, we can't charge without like breaking our cloak, but that is worth it, dude. But yeah, we, we kind of come out of nowhere and we just go, Kami Kami Ha. Until the enemy dies. Not charge shot. Why not? Did I make a mistake? Is it is it bad with this build? Now I'm scared that I didn't read something. Why are there- why do they make the dot- the charge shot salvo is better on- on bodies other than scepter? Yeah, I can kind of understand that because it does break cloak, but it is worth the massive damage increase. And like, I can always dodge their attacks, and even if I can't, I can just regenerate 
once I go back into cloaking. You know what I mean? So, it kind of works out. Like, I do understand that's now my weakness, is I have to charge up outside of cloak for a few seconds. But, like, that's worth the massive damage increase. Like, our DPS kind of skyrocketed after we took it. Uh, we could get Rebuke. Uh, Rancor. What does this do? Minus 10% thrust. The thrust penalty while charging is increased to negative 50. While you're charging your weapon, damage dealt to you or your shield increases the charge. Ooh. You'll lose the stealth damage bone. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh my god. Why do they make this game so complicated? Why? Oh my god, dude. Bruh. Bruh. That sucks. Why do they make this game, like, way too complicated? Like, who is supposed to understand this shit? Bruh. You know, we can use it as a follow-up attack, actually. Like, if you think about it, we do one shot that's not that's not charged. We come out of our cloak, and then we charge up. And then we and then we go back into hiding. It's a one-two punch. Then we Hey, hey, at least it's uh it's better than better than nothing, right? At least this way we kind of get the both the best of both worlds, kind of, but not really. I'm at least gonna say it's okay. Jesus Christ, how are we gonna defeat this boss? Oh, uh, last stand. But yeah, I'm guessing I didn't read something on Scepter, right, that says, like, while charging or shooting, you know, disables cloak. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing that it's in, like, the 5,000 paragraph uh, wording of, uh, of the description for Scepter. Because that's what it feels like with how they explain some of these mechanics. Charge mines would get you the best of both worlds. Okay. Okay, so probably charged mines. Uh how do we get charged mines? Damn it, why I didn't mean to go into settings. I was trying to go into super mods. Ten shield or body upgrades, get last stand. Uh barrage, focus fire plus burst fire. Leaf on the wind. Streamline plus Warpath. Um, charge Mines. Charge Mines, Charge Shot plus Loaded Mines. Okay, okay. Alright, we can't warp. Dude, why why did I suck at this boss before? Like this boss is so easy, dude. What the heck? Frick, dude. Loaded mines, yes. Yeah, yeah, loaded loaded load of mines.
temporal shield doing work? Oh, is that is that making his like thing slower? Is that making all of his patterns slower? Is is that what's happening? Is temporal shield? This is why I go with temporal shield when I'm doing a build like this. That's exactly why. Alright, I would even argue Temporal Shield is easily one of the most powerful in the game. Because of how it's able to, like, slow everything down. Even on a boss like this. Which, in most games, that would not work on a boss. Like, at all. Jesus. Imagine if I hadn't picked up charge charge shot. Uh, imagine if I could read a thousand page paragraph instruction manual. Yeah, ter temporal is pretty insane. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty goddamn good. Obviously, it's not the best if you're going for a melee build. If you're going for a melee build, I mean, at that point, you either go Siphon or Halo, right? Depending on how aggressive you want to be. But, but, like, you can save the build. Yeah, it's probably okay. It's probably okay. Uh, especially if we get mines. Dude, could this guy die already? Could you die, like, preferably in real life? These guys take too much HP. Is, that, is it just me? Like, it doesn't matter how much health you do to these guys. They're just impossible. Like, maybe I'm not shooting their weak point. Like, their weak point is the back, right? Many mad lads use amp and melee builds. Oh, uh, I usually use amp and melee builds. I'm usually that guy. I'm usually that person. Uh, unless I'm using swords. Because I don't think it affects swords, right? Does it? I actually don't know that. I don't think it affects swords. You need more damage super mods. Yeah, like anti-matter rounds would be nice. Uh, if we get Blast Radius. Right, isn't Blast Radius one of the things we needed? Am I going crazy? I wish you could open up the menu here, but you can't. So, you know, the one time it would be nice, you can't. Uh, yup. Okay, okay, I'm not going crazy then, Blast Radius. That'll help with our explosive rounds anyway. There we go. There we go, everybody. You can choose to leave the upgrade screen. Uh... I still haven't figured out which freaking button that is because it says to press the select button and I press the select button and nothing happens. I have yet to figure out which button that is. Um. Payload. We could do payload. Uh, I don't... Oh, payload is needed for antimatter rounds and singular strike. Okay, okay. Let's get payload then. I don't know the controller button. Yeah. It would just be nice if you could just open up the pause menu from the upgrade screen without having to like, you know, 
um, back out of it first. That would be very, very nice. I know it's escape on keyboard. Oh my gosh, dude, you play this without a controller? Bruh. That's nuts. That is nutty to me. I couldn't imagine playing this on anything but a controller, dude. I really couldn't. It might be the pause button. Oh, it might be. Uh, it's not the pause button. Okay, it's not the menu button. I'm pressing the menu button right now. Uh, we will grab Juggernaut, which will unlock a singular strike. There we go. What is that thing? Uh, I'm sorry? New boss? What is that thing? Are we dead? Oh, what? It's really easy to kill, actually, lol. Really easy boss? What the heck? I thought he was gonna kick my ass. But look, we're, like, kicking his ass. Why is he easier than the third boss? The boss that came before him is harder. Why isn't the boss before him, like, the final boss? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Like, this guy doesn't even have as much HP. Bro, are we wave 100 right now, or what wave are we on? Either way, the, the, the boss order needs to be changed. Either way, the boss order needs to be changed desperately. What the heck? The boss we fought before him has killed, like, seven builds. I- what? That was easy. The- the boss that came before him is a run killer. And- and the- what? Uh, Crucible actually has less HP? Okay, okay, I understand that. But it's still a harder boss fight. Bro. Scepter is OP. Okay, maybe it's just because we have Scepter. Maybe it's just because of that. I, I am just like... Even then, we struggled against Crucible, but we had no problem uh, cutting up Glacius like, like he was sushi. Uh, why is there all that text on the screen? Did I- did I break the game? What happened, chat? Why is there all that text? Did I- what happened? Huh? Did I- did I- did I cause a glitch? What- what happened? What the hell? How do I get rid of that text on my screen? It's- it's covering up half the goddamn screen. You open combat log. Well, how do I turn it off? The fuck do I turn it off? The fuck do I turn it off, bro? How the fuck do I turn it off? I don't know what button you pushed. Oh my god, dude. Oh, Jesus, I did not- I just want it. There we go. Uh, turn left. Fire one, powers, uh, key up, down, should toggle show combat log. There's not even a button for it. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's, wait. Okay, it's, uh, you said it was, you said it was that button on keyboard? Okay. Uh, where, where is that button on my keyboard? Oh, I see it. I see it. There we go.
Dude, singular strike. Oh my god. Holy crapasaurus, dude. Holy crap, dude. Look at this. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, spontaneous generation. Uh, yes, please. There we go. You know, what if you did Scepter as an Overseer build? Like, what if you did Scepter plus Overseer? You know, and just went like full drones? And just sat there cloaked forever while your uh, enemy, while your drones kind of do their own thing? What if you did that? Like, would that be a build? Is that a dumb idea? It sounds like a build to me. Might have to try that. You know, you have interceptors and it's, you know, and all of that. You have an interceptor using her weapon instead of you. Shielded constructs, all of that good stuff. Oh god, oh god, run away. And you had like attack drones that like seeked out enemies for you and interceptors so you didn't have to do any work or get your hands dirty you know turrets of course as well and you just kind of sit there um skirmish could be well skirmish not that useful omni shield we probably don't want because we have juggernaut uh, focus shield's not what I'm looking for. Skirmish. Maybe concentrated blast, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, because we need antimatter rounds, which is concentrated blast and payload. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, we're going for that. There we go. There we go, everybody. Dude, having spontaneous uh, generation, I think, has single-handedly uh, improved the build, like, by quite a lot. Because I can just sit here cloaked and charge, and my, uh, my little swarm buddies are just gonna protect me. They're just gonna keep me safe. Dude, spontaneous generation with this build is a nice to have i wouldn't say it's like it's it's totally like it's totally like uh absolutely changed the build or anything it's just in that nice to have category specter overseer is not a bad uh, is not a bad build it's just that self uh damage bonus is only for self-fired weapons so with that type of build uh stealth only helps defensively oh so you might, so if you were going to go Overseer, you might want to go with something like a uh, Carrier, right? Where you have like your Swarm Buddies, you've got like, you know, everything else, and you just don't fire. You're just a little tank. You just sit there and take hits all day and dodge. You know, you go Juggernaut, Rapid Reconstruction... Well, maybe not rapid reconstruction. Maybe you go regenerative shields and shield constructs with Juggernaut. And you give them all, like, halo shields. So they can just burn everything in their path. Not the bees achievement build. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly, dude. Wait, that's an achievement? That's hilarious. No, not the bees! You take heavy hull self damage when you fire. This damage is slightly increased for each weapon projectile. Okay, anti projectiles fired by you that hit collide with enemy projectiles. Oh, that's cool. Plus 20 base damage. Uh, plus 10% total weapon projectile size. 
and projectile velocity ooh ooh baby now we're talking oh my god my look at how much damage we just did oh my god dude and our bullets look cool now now to get blank and loaded mines yeah blank would be very nice and loaded mines as well if we get loaded mines like we're golden this might be a build where I use auto-deploy for my mines, honestly, so I can just, you know. But I might also just use my mines as a weapon. There are definitely two strategies to go there. Because uh, using mines as a weapon is always an option. Does it even uncloak yourself if you use mines as a weapon? I don't think it does, because it's a construct that you're pooping out, and not a weapon, technically. Even though you're using it as a weapon, you're effectively throwing the mines onto the enemy. But it's still a construct that you're throwing at the enemy, and not a weapon. Dude, this build is sick. I take back anything I said about Salvo. I take back anything I said. I I apologize profusely to uh, to A Tring and anyone who uses Salvo in this game. Uh, any Nova Drift players out there who use Salvo, uh, I I am eating my own words as we speak. I am I know when to I know when to admit that I've eaten my own words, and now is the time. Deploying constructs and active mobility does decloak you, but you can recloak quickly. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Oh, hey, Sephiroth is here. You know, the final boss normally. Dude, I'm beating my high score. We're at my high score right now. Holy shit, dude. I, I better not jinx anything. It would suck if we didn't beat our high score, dude. We're not quite there yet. We need to get past 600,000. What? My high score was like 630,000 or something? Apology accepted. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I feel like feel like uh feel like such a dumbass for being like, yeah, yeah, Salvo isn't that great in my experience. Well yeah, I, I don't think I've ever used Salvo correctly. We're now on wave 150. Dude. Dude, this build rocks. This build is so busted. This is awesome, dude. This is definitely going in the YouTube video. This build right here is definitely going on the YouTube video. Uh, on my Padded Shorts channel. On, uh, on YouTube. My second channel, if you will. Um... Do we grab an ally? I might, I might actually be very tempted at this point. Then we could turn him into a guardian. Or maybe we could turn him into an interceptor and have him fire out missiles. Nah, nah, probably guardian. Chimeric has been trying to figure out a good way to nerf Salvo. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you would do about it. Yeah, I, I don't know much about development. Well, I'm not exactly sure what you would do, but uh, my my needs some adjusting. My 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 need uh, a little a little something. Because <laughs> this is insane, dude. This is absolutely like broken strong. This makes my sword builds look like an absolute joke in comparison, brah. Like, holy crap. As much as I love sword, uh, this is just, this, this is just insane. 
definitely needs mines and uh, blink soon. Yeah, I would agree. Oh, Jesus! Hey, it's this guy. There we go. Go, my little swarm buddies. Yeah, condensants. Don't we have incinerary strikes? So technically this would be useful. What the heck? Dying star? Ignite everything in a huge radius. Oh, I've used this before back in the day. Back in 2019, I used to use this for melee builds. Burnout reactors. Constructs take 8 damage per second, but they gain 30% uh, assembly speed. 30% construct speed. I need to let my cat out of the room. Uh, what else was it? Self-destruction burn damage. Dude. Dude, what the heck? I'm very tempted to go burn out reactors. That would be... Also, did you hear the crazy TF2 news? They ported the game to 64 bits. Oh, maybe it'll actually run, you know, you know, like efficiently and stuff. That's crazy, though, that they ported it to 64 bits because, yeah, they used to have like some performance issues, shall we say. And I can only imagine it being able to support more than four gigabytes at a time, like being able to use all 16 gigs of RAM on your computer uh, is pretty nice. Like, you know, I have 16 gigs, so to use like, what, eight gigs? close to that that's really nice because that's how minecraft runs i might actually check that out now uh, that they're updating it and stuff uh i'm probably not gonna go interceptor i could go priority zero i'm gonna go turrets i'm gonna go turrets Need thrust in mines. Yeah, we're just not getting those things. And uh, I, I sacked my rerolls in the beginning. At least I'm not seeing them. I might be completely blind, which is always a possibility for the super mods. Yeah, yeah, I am trying to get those. I just haven't been seeing them pop up in our level up upgrades. There we go, very gently tap on the thrust. There we go. Here we go, everybody. I do like having auto-deploying turrets, though. That is really nice. That's just a quality of life thing to turn on. Is that uh, our turrets like all like pop out a turret like auto magically, auto magically? Oh God! Oh God! Hey, hey! I almost uh, well, I didn't almost die. I did lose my shield, which is uh, not a great thing. Uh, regeneration. Where the hell is, like, thrust, dude? Where the hell is it? Uh, I will get efficiency. Because, yeah, no, no brainer there. Dude, we have deleted our high score by this point. By, like, quite a lot. Like, we've deleted our high score, bro.
Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just butt shot this guy again. You know, if you could die, that'd be that'd be really nice. There we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, hey. That's not ideal. There we go. There we go, everybody. There we go. Set him on fire with incendiary strike. Take his ass to pound town. You know, etc., etc. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. That is nuts. The amount of damage that we're capable of firing out is just crazy. There we go. Dude, this is really nice. There we go. Wave 190. We're almost at wave 200 now. That's insane. Barrage and Fuselage increase your damage even more. But you need blank and mines. Yeah, I'm trying to find them, but uh, I just haven't been getting them as options in the shop, and we don't have rerolls. Which is uh, kind of a problem. Like, I'm trying to find them, but like. Game A, we're not getting as many level ups as we used to. Oh, oh my god. That was terrifying what just happened. That was kind of terrifying. Ah, there it is. Finally, increased thrust. There we go. I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna blow them all up. Look at my little swarm dudes go. You know about the effects of antimatter rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like collide with like bullets and stuff, which is uh, pretty cool. There we go. Okay. Oh gosh. Don't die. Don't die on me. There we go. You can use that to save yourself in a pinch. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That does actually make sense. Like, you can use it as, like, a defense in, like, an emergency. I get that. If you're, like, you're being shot and stuff at, then, like, you can use it to, like, block, uh, to block shots. I get it. That makes- that actually does make a lot of sense. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah, dude. There we go. Do 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 everything just explodes as soon as like I touch them. It's awesome, dude. Oh man. This is a good ass build. Oh my gosh. Like, this is easily the best build I've had in this game by, like, a lot. It's not even, like, a fair contest, bro. Okay. Run away. Run away. There we go. 
can't run from that. You can't outrun it. You just can't. But yeah, I do like I do like though that the developer uh you know I do like I do like a lot of I do like a lot of these weapons and like all of these crazy combos that you can get and stuff. Gemini protocol? Honestly, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Gemini protocol is always awesome. Keep our shields up a little bit longer by sacrificing some of our hull. That's alright with me when Temporal is such a good shield. There's Sephiroth again. Sephiroth? Sephiroth? However you pronounce his name. There we go. Oh gosh. Can you just die? There you go. When in doubt, Ram. At Ram Ranch! Jesus Christ, dude. We almost fucking died. That was almost a death right there, and I would have been embarrassed. Bro, with the build this powerful, just dying right there would have been like... I would have just... I would have deleted the stream. I would have... I would have deleted the channel, honestly. Oh gosh, I have this, I took my hand off the controller for one second so I could adjust myself in my seat and like I got hit by the like by the cosmos, the cosmic blast. I don't really know how that all works. Well, here's the dweller again. He's just here. I thought Sephiroth was more similar to Sephirine, to Sephirine from League of Legend. Oh, how are you supposed to pronounce Sephirine? Sephirine! Sephirine! I don't fucking know. Irene? Irene? I'm probably pronouncing this like the dumbest way possible, knowing my dyslexia. This is bad. There we go. Uh, Seraphine. Seraphine, okay. gosh let's go ahead and do that there we go who even needs to dodge dodging what's that there we go oh my god dude this is awesome Dude, dude, I can't believe I finally got over a million points in this game. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. It's finally happened. Oh my gosh. There we go, blow them up. Blow them all to hell. Blow them all to hell, let's go. Let's go, dude. Dude. Oh, Jesus, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, uh, there's just two Spitfires right now. What? And a mini boss just to boot? There we go, it didn't matter. Oh, oh, what the fuck? What the hell is that thing? What the hell? What the hell? What in God's name is that monstrosity? 
What in loose what in the name of Lucifer? Is that was that that just hit us? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this game's getting nasty now. This game's getting aggressive, dude. We are not getting landmines. It's just not happening. The game is like, nah, nah, you don't get landmines. What do you think of the anor of the Oh, of that build? I think it sounds very interesting. It sounds really interesting to do a build where you uh, don't spend uh, like like reroll points. Ah, not on this build. Yeah, yeah, probably not on this build. It was probably way too late to do that. I'm guessing though that once you build up like 20 skill points, though, you uh, you can just play the game normally, right? Like that seems to be how it works in the description. You just need 20 skill points. And then once you get to 21, you can start spending. You know, anything past 20, as long as you don't go past that. Okay, okay. Be very careful here. Whoa, that, that did like 10,000. The idea is to make your build first, then stockpile 20 points. Oh, I see, I see, I see. There we go. Oh my god, really? <laughs> okay, there we go. Man, oh man, I'm a sleepy. I'm sleepy, dude. I'm very sleepy because I had coffee today. I should not have had coffee in the morning. I know this because, you know, ADHD brain. But, you know. This is why I need a caretaker. I mean, what? No, 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 no. I do not need a CG. No. Nope. Nope. I'm like, I'm so big, everybody. Oh my gosh. You could kindly go kill yourself. That'd be nice, bro. There we go. Just absolutely ruin that guy's day. There we go. So you know what you need and what's unnecessary. Even the build, even this build could benefit from, uh, from Arda, Ar Ar Arda. I have no idea how you pronounce that shit. I literally don't. I'm just, we're just not even gonna try. Mm. Oh man, dude. There we go. Destroy everything in our path. Just checking chats, just checking different chats and stuff. There we go. A ta a ta ra ta a a terax a teraxia a traxia a traxia I think Okay regeneration Uh honestly Guardian Guardian would be really nice to have around Man, I, I would love it if the game would give me landmines. As it turns out, maybe sacrificing, uh, you know, my rerolls for five level ups was, uh, was certainly a decision that I made. Would I still do it again because I'm an idiot? Absolutely. Do I recommend you to do that? Probably not. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Hey. Hey, if you could just stop. If you could if you could just kindly fuck yourself. There we go. 
All those constructs bloat the mod pool, too. Oh. You know, I didn't even think about that. But you're right. We should have waited for mines and then gone the other constructs. Yeah. Yeah, you right. You right, I'm dumb. There we go. There we go. If you if you could die, that'd be great. That would be great. If you could like blow yourself up, you know, kill yourself, really, you know, etc. etc. Still, this is a great run. Yeah, yeah, this run is amazing, dude. This run has uh, been something else. I mean, we doubled my high score of like 630,000 already. Which I think is pretty cool. There we go. Wave 255. What's the highest wave that you've gone to? Like, what's the highest? There we go, everybody. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, run away. Run the fuck away. What hit me? What the hell just flung me around the map there? Bro. Wait, did I kill the singularity? Did I, can you destroy a singularity? What the hell? I've gotten over five mil high score. Ooh. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah, I have, uh, I've gone to 600, uh, thousand points before this. And that was about it. Before that, I had gone to, uh, 300,000 points. Oh, hey, we're doing better every time, right? There we go. Look at those swarm units going. Spontaneous generation is always really good. There we go. Psycon bumps you with orbs and spawns its own black holes. Oh, okay. Okay. So by destroying him, I destroyed the black hole. Gotcha. That he, that he spawned. Where's my black hole weapon? What the hell? Where's my singularity summoner 9000? What the hell, devs? Conversion. Uh... More hall? Dude, very tempting. Uh, banish condensants? Uh... Vortex is close enough. Yeah, that's true. Vortex is close enough. You know what? That's, that's a fair point.
There we go. Just fire a barrage of missiles until everything dies, as you do. There we go. Having a war machine is really nice. Because now our, uh... Now, now we can actually, like, fire, uh, you know... Now our turret actually, like, does something. As opposed to just sitting there and kind of looking pretty. You know what I mean? There we go. I'm gonna blow this guy to hell. And there goes our turret. Yeah, turrets are never useful against bosses! Jesus, dude. That was almost really bad! There we go. There we go, dude. There we go, we got him. We got him, dude. There we go. Go, my little army, go! Destroy! Everything in your path! There we go. There we go, dude. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this. We're blowing everything up. Dude, I think I, I think upgrading our turret was a really good idea. I think that's helped us like at least a little bit. There we go. It's too bad that our turrets take freaking forever to build. But what are you gonna do? There we go. Go ahead and go ahead and blow everything up. Yeah, I don't know about turrets slash allies. I mean, it's damage we can do while we're cloaked. So it has that appeal going for it, at least. go fire a hail of bullets or a hail of missiles there we go oh hey it's just uh it's spitfire how are you doing spitfire uh well oh uh, wow spitfire did not last too long Also, having these swarm units so far has been really great. These swarm units actually are just doing God's work right now. There we go. I feel like you could have gotten Warp Strike a lot too sooner and gotten more damage to kill almost everything on the screen. You're you're probably right. Did we just die? You're probably right, but now now we know. Oh look, I'm just trying to make the best out of a dumb mistake, okay? At the end of the day, that's all these that's all I can do. Um I think we're gonna die pretty soon though. Yeah. 
That's okay though. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with you that we probably should not have went for turret. We probably should have... What we should have done is we should have rushed for mines and blank, gotten the warp strike, gotten the other thing, and then, and then when all of that's done, then we grab turrets. That, that would have made a lot more sense in, in hindsight. I did not think about how they would like, you know, populate the pool and stuff. I didn't think about how they would add so much to the pool, which, uh, you know. I, I yeah. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do a sword run. I'm tempted to do a lance run. You could also do torrent. You know what? I'm going to do torrent. You know what? We're going to do a torrent build. Uh, I'm gonna go amp. As you do when you do torrent. Look at how little damage we do compared to the last round. Oh, oh man. No, you bastards! Get back here! You sons of bitches! God, I hate these- I, I hate these little blue enemies. They're so annoying in the beginning of the game. Obviously, once you're not in the beginning, like, they're easy, but, like, you know, we're not there yet. No, we don't want spread fire, generally speaking. Honestly, Leviathan's not a stupid idea. Hullbreaker's not a dumb idea, either. Where in your Discord could I post build ideas? Uh, I think you need to, like, verify first, but, like, there's a gaming chat. Once you do get verified, um... Oh gosh, could- Fuck you! Fuck you! That's why I hate those blue guys! That's why I fucking hate those bastard blue guys. I hate them. In the beginning of the game specifically, because obviously, like, later on, they, they become a joke. But then again, a lot of things become a joke in the, uh, in the late game. Early game is not balanced well enough, in my opinion. Early game is not balanced at all. In my opinion, it's just not. It's just not there yet. Early game feels ass. Early game feels like complete, total dog shit. We could do an assault build as well, but I'm very tempted to do Hallbreaker. Hallbreaker or assault? Hallbreaker or assault? I'm gonna go assault. But yeah, that's always my question whenever I go a torrent build. Hallbreaker or Salt are like my two main bodies. Yeah, it's just way, it's way too much. Yeah, 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 exactly. Especially when you have all the difficulty modifiers on. Oh, oh my god, it can be a little bit, it can be a little bit piss you off. Um, We could do Siege Weaponry and get saturation fire if we go siege weaponry and then we go uh snipe calibrate then we could get saturation fire which might be really good uh i don't want burst fire for this weapon obviously i do want magnitude which magnitude can give us infuse what does that do? Discharge now deals 8% of your shield's self-damage to you. Uh, when you fire your weapon, it gets it gains added damage equal to 400% of the self-damage dealt by discharge. Divide it. Ooh. Ooh, infusion. Infusion, my dudes. Infusion. That could be really good with this. If we can get discharge. Now I'm thinking about all these super mods and stuff. Now you put the idea into my brain of like, you know, now I'm thinking about like all these super mods and whatnot. Which is probably a good thing because it probably would have taken me a lot lear a lot longer to learn that I uh than than it would have with you with you telling me. So like thank you for being here, A Tring. Once again, like shout out to A Tring, everybody. Been been super been just been just super awesome, been very patient with me. Uh oh my god, dude. I'm PLEASE! 
Infuse is mound turret. Okay. But we don't want infuse. Gotcha. I fucking hate the first boss, dude. I fucking hate the first boss during these. I hate the beetle boss so much, my guys. Beetle boss sucks. I don't think he's overpowered or that the developers should change it. I think he's perfectly balanced and reasonable. I just hate him. Okay, I just hate his guts. Not in a, oh, they should change this kind of way. In a, I hate his guts and I wish he would die kind of way. You know, just personal hatred. You know, it's, it's all personal. It has nothing to do with the boss or like, it just kills me a lot, okay? It just kills me a fuck ton and I hate him. I just, I just, that's, that's all it comes down to. Uh, I'm gonna go amp. I find the beetle easier than Spitfire. Maybe it's just because I've practiced Spitfire so much. Uh, and I haven't practiced beetle nearly as much. But I find, I find Spitfire to be easier. But then again, I've memorized, I've memorized all of like his patterns and stuff. So maybe once I've gotten to that point with the, with Beetle, maybe I'll hit him a lot less. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be much more a fan. Um, but as it stands right now, uh, Blast Radius could be nice. Faster Shield Cooldown. Obsession. I'm probably gonna go Blast Radius, honestly. Uh, high explosive. We could, we could. Uh, targeting is always good with Torrent. As insane as that might sound, in practice, it's actually really good. Uh, we probably don't want to go with Guidance, though. Um, so you were saying Saturate. You were saying Saturate. I'm trying to remember what two weapons we need to get saturate and i cannot remember i cannot remember at all they just give you too much to remember uh escape escape out of that where is saturate where is it barrage or wait not barrage wait You were saying, let me, let me read. Infuse is mat on torrent, barrage is better. Okay, barrage is focus fire and burst fire. Barrage two is good. Okay, so they're both good. They're both good to take. Okay, so saturate is, uh, is good too. I doesn't, okay. Calibrate and Siege. So we actually do want to go down the Velocity path. I probably won't get Snipe because it's kind of use... And it doesn't matter! God, I hate the early game. I hate the early game so much, dude. I'm trying to play the video game. God! Ah! Okay, uh, where the fuck is Assault Body? There we go, Assault Body. This is a pure aggression build. It's okay, it happens to me too. I fucking hate that shit, bro. I fucking hate it. Volley is really nice with this. Magnitude could be very nice. Uh, I'm probably... We're probably going to grab targeting real quick. Yeah. Oh, volley. You said to grab volley. Oh. Goddamn stream delay. Goddamn stream delay. Uh, homing strike. Homing strike is very nice with this. You can do a lot of, you can do a lot of random shit with this. There we go. 
I'm gonna melt everything in our path. Uh, convergence. I'm gonna go velocity. That way we can get uh, calibrate. There we go. And now we melt Spitfire in two seconds. Come here, Spitfire. There we go. Break the boss. Uh, I don't think I want Snipe. I think... I don't... I, I think I'll just wait for Calibrate. Honestly, burn damage, efficiency, shields. Uh, Torrent is not burn damage, right? I don't think it is. Let's just reroll here. I'm gonna go hull strength. Wait, snipe? Wait. Why would I go snipe? Isn't this a close range weapon? Am I being stupid? Like, I'm not understanding how snipe would work. Would actually add up to any damage bonus if I'm using it like this. I guess I'll grab it. Okay. Torrent always wants velocity. Okay, okay. So more velocity is more better. Gotcha. So we don't want it for the snipe bonus, but we want it for the velocity bonus. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So we don't want guidance. We want to get calibrate. Jesus! Jesus! Ah! You still get a little damage bonus from a uh, snipe. Okay, okay. So we still get a little tiny damage bonus. But otherwise, it's for the sweet 20% velocity. Gotcha. Okay, uh, blast radius, we could, we could. Absorption is really good. Absorption is just amazing. Because uh, usually what kills you in this game is light hits, bullets across the screen. I don't do a lot of damage to you, but uh, in a lot of numbers. Death Blossom, I'm not even sure if that would work, how that would work. Propulsive Munitions, I'm... Not entirely sure we want that. Adaptive armor we could do. Regeneration could be really good. I'm probably going to go magnitude for the extra damage and projectile size and everything. It's a bigger bonus once you get saturation fire as you have more effective range from calibrate. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, the sooner we get Siege Weaponry, probably the better. Uh, I will take uh, Convergence. That is going to take off a little bit of Weapon ver Velocity, though, so I'm not sure. We might just stick to Helming Strike. Which we have right now, and seems to be working alright. I don't like the Weapon Spread. Uh, I'm going to grab Payload, though. For the uh, sweet 30% damage. Yeah, no more homing stuff. Yeah, probably not. This is probably as much homing as we want. This is probably as much guidance as we're going to need. Uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I'm going to get Juggernaut. There we go. Skirmish. Oh. I'm gonna grab, uh... You did say volley, like, earlier, right? But yeah, I'm gonna go volley.
Uh, skirmish for essence sap. Fire rate. Oh. Imagine, ima imagine if um if YouTube didn't have horrible stream delay. Like YouTube has like some horrible stream delay compared to like Twitch. Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't realize how bad the stream delay was on this site. Holy crap, I am sorry that I'm not taking your advice, but like it is like a solid minute behind. And I have like ultra fast I have ultra fast like uh like ultra fast delay on and it does not matter, dude. It does not matter. Like I have the highest like uh I have like the fastest settings enabled on YouTube for the stream delay and it's still bad. I can only imagine if you didn't have it if I didn't have any of the settings enabled to make it slightly faster. But yeah, it's like a whole ass like 10, 20 seconds, 30 seconds behind. Holy crap, dude. As like a Twitch streamer, I'm not used to there being any stream delay at all. I'm used to there being like a 10 second delay. You know what I mean? So I'm not really used to it. And uh, I do apologize. I'm used to like 10 second delays on Twitch. I'm used to a message coming out like, you know, 10 seconds after the fact, as opposed to, like, a full minute lagging behind. Alright, let's try that again with Torrent. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna go Amp again. There we go. It feels like a 10 second delay on my end. It's just slow to type. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna grab, like, let's see, your battery. We could grab battery. Uh, we don't want anything that splits our weapon down the middle, though. We could do hull breaker. I'm gonna go pure assault again. That seemed to be a good idea. Going Assault did not seem to be a bad idea in the slightest, dude. Maybe we don't go down the targeting path if we want velocity, right? If we want lots of velocity, then, like, maybe we don't go targeting. Like, at all. Um, I'll grab Snipe for the extra velocity. It's not like, it's not like we need targeting it's just nice to have it's not like it's not like on railgun where it's practically required to use the weapon because like oh my god aiming with railgun is a nightmare without targeting uh, incendiary strike is gonna be nice. That's gonna be really nice. Uh, we grab skirmish. Vase targeting and homing and homing strike, uh, don't penalize, uh, velocity, but, uh, torrent is close range anyway. That is good information to know. Incendiary strike sucks on torrent. Well, damn it. Well, damn it. Well, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Bobby. Uh, I'm gonna grab... I'm probably gonna grab Terminate. But that's good to know that base targeting and, uh, and homing strike don't take up, like, any, any velocity. So I can use those on Railgun without having to worry about it too much. Corrosion is better as the effect stacks. Oh, I see, I see. I see. Welp. Global damage increases. Uh, we might, we might. I'm thinking Blast Radius is probably pretty good because of, uh, Rupture. But, uh, let's go Condensance. 
But yeah, that makes sense. I didn't realize that fire don't stack. Yeah, that, that... So yeah, uh, Incendiary Strike is supposed to be more like if you have a single target weapon and you want it to do more damage. Gotcha. Are you kidding me? I hate it. I hate it here, dude. I hate it. I hate those purple guys. Those purple guys. Not overpowered or anything. I just hate them. I just hate their guts. And I wish they would fucking die. They piss me off. They piss me the fuck off, dude. I do not like. Right, torrent build. Uh, what is this attempt? Number three, four-ish? I don't even know anymore. Just give me amp. I'm assuming that amp is a good idea, right? With this build. Are you fucking joking me? I don't like being level up killed at all. I hate that in this game. I hate that that's even a thing in this game. Bro, if I could have half a millisecond of invincibility frames after I level up, like, only if I actually, like, select an upgrade. Obviously, if I hit the escape button, if I hit the escape button or whatever and decline the, and, you know, go back out of it. But I feel like if you level up, you should get, like, half a second of invincibility frames. Like, not even, like, a full second. Just enough time to not get killed instantly. Just enough time for you to, like, move the fuck out of the way. For you to have, like, some reaction time. Like, bro. It's so fucking infuriating that you don't get even, like, a millisecond of frame time. It's so annoying. Find a safe place. Yeah, yeah, I should be better about getting finding a safe place. It is, like, kind of my fault, too. But, like, God, it pisses me off, bro. It pisses me off, dude. Could you fucking die, preferably in real life? Thank you. Yeah, amp is good for glass cannon builds. Yeah, that's exactly where we're building here, is a glass cannon. Which kind of sucks, because glass cannon implies that I have some skills at the video game. Uh, which I most definitely do not have in the slightest. I have, like, some skill. I'm not- I'm not gonna say I'm completely stupid. I mean, we did get to a million- we did get to 1.3 million points. Like, that wasn't just because the build was completely overpowered. Though that did help. I still had to play the video game. Like, you know, I still had to have some, like, coherent skill. Uh, we want to get Siege Weaponry and Calibrate, if my brain is remembering right. So, uh, we're gonna take Rapid Fire, and then we're gonna take, uh, War, uh, Warpath. The Warpath. We're gonna take Warpath, dude. Warpath is gonna be, uh, pretty nice for us. Because that's gonna further increase our speed bonus on top of, like, what, uh, Assault already gives us. Uh, we could summon a challenger and instantly die. You know, that would be that would be a great idea right now. Uh-huh. Um Do I grab magnitude because of the payload? Honestly, magnitude and payload is kind of sick. It's kind of rad. But uh let's reroll and try and find something that'll correlate to getting a super weapon. Now this is it right here. Uh, strafing strikes and leaf on the wind. Yeah, we don't, we don't, I don't think we care about these. I think we just care about the siege weaponry. You got warpath. Oh, I hate this beetle. I hate this beetle so much. I hate his little beetly guts. Okay, run away, run away. 
Oh no, 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 no! Oh! I'm getting my ass pounded. Why am I flying so fast? I can't stop myself. Bro, I'm not used to being in fast-moving ships anymore. I think I've played too many slow builds. That I'm like, what the fuck, man? This is so fast, I can't control it. Amp speed boost. Wait, amp adds a speed boost? Where does it say that? Oh, 20% thrust. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize why we were going so fast. I'm like, bro, we're fucking like blazing out here. The question is, do we go regenerative shields? I'm honestly thinking so for the adrenaline module, but probably not right now. Not this moment. Uh, would galvanic outbursts be any good for this? I want to say it would be very good, but I don't know. No regen shields, okay. Um... Adds or improves targeting. I'm gonna go for velocity. I'm gonna go for siege weaponry, uh, so we can get saturation fire. Uh, no galvanic either. Okay, okay. But yeah, if I remember right, targeting is only good on torrent if you do a torrent and courser build. Which I know sounds insane, but uh, it's actually an okay build. I wouldn't say it's like the best build in the game, but uh, it's okay, it's all right. I don't think we need improved thrusters. Uh, essence, sap, and tempest break. This is volatile shields. This is volatile shields and discharge. Doesn't sound stupid to me. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a pretty good build. Is using the courser ship, which makes you like uh, it basically if you go courser build and you get like homing strike and targeting. And then obviously take all the velocity upgrades like we're doing here. You actually become like that one enemy that fires from its sides. That fires a hail of bullets from its sides. You actually be quickly become that enemy. That's the strategy as you become like the enemy. You don't become like, like, you know. T, t break need flash shields and deadly wake. Okay, okay. So, I probably want to get flash shielding then. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, burst fire, I don't want. Calibrate. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna fucking die. First fire, uh, if you want calibrate for barrage. Really now, burst fire? With this weapon? Huh? I'm guessing I get, don't I want to get, don't I want to get the super weapon first and then get, and then get, uh, the, the, the burst fire? Because... Wouldn't that screw me until I have the super weapon? Because I feel like that's not good. For barrage. Okay, well, then I want to get barrage first, right? And then I get burst fire.
You know, I hate this build more and more. You need burst to get barrage. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's gross that I need... How am I gonna do this with fucking burst fire? Ew. You know, I like this build less and less. I think we're nearing the point of, like, I never use Torrent ever again. I think we're nearing that. Uh... We just dumped this in the scrap pile. Burst Torrent isn't that gr- It sounds pretty goddamn disgusting. Uh, considering that the whole point is that you fire out a broad, uh, like a torrent of shots. Like, I can't imagine that's any good. It sounds not great. I'm gonna get Warpath. Sounds very not good. Like, I just don't see how that works on an automatic firing weapon. That's like, oh yeah, let me, let me make, let me make my M16 no longer, uh... Okay, well actually, wait, an M16 does have, like, a semi-automatic mode. L let me make a minigun, like, burst fire. I've used burst turret myself with... Uh, do 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 do. Oh, bravado is really good. I know, I know, we could have picked up siege weaponry, but how can I say no to a massive boost to all my body mods? Like, bro, it's kind of hard to pass up. Velocity is exactly what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, dude. We may have to try this with Sentinel, honestly, instead of going Glass Cannon. I don't think Glass Cannon is my speed. I'm starting to realize that uh, Glass Cannon, you know, might not be uh, the build for me. Um, definitely Bravado first for the XP. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, we're going to grab Calibrate so we can get... How does this work? Instead of Calibrate over time, your weaponry calibrates a Siege Weaponry Calib... Uh, ramps up. Ooh, ooh, that's amazing. Plus 15% self-damage, though. But that's okay. Actually, you know what I might do is Hall Breaker. I might do Hall Breaker with this uh, build. That way I don't have to play as a glass cannon. And I can still be aggressive. Rapid Reconstruction Viper with Siege Turret. That might be really good, actually. I mean, that sounds good. Uh, hull strength. Uh, we could, we could, we could. Um, yeah. I think there, I think we do want to go hull strength, if I remember right. Because, like, we have self-damage with siege weaponry, right? So we want, so logically, we want more health, Hullbreaker has a massive fire rate penalty. Oh, that's right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Hullbreaker is probably better on, like, swords. Or, like, or flak. Could you imagine Hullbreaker with flak? Now you're talking. Now you're talking about a good time. You know, shotgun in your hands... And hull breaker. Mmm. 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 Uh, skirmish so we can get essence sap. Uh, we want to get blitz. Well, yeah, probably blitz. I mean, it's at least nice to have. I hate those enemies. I hate those enemies. You know what? I think I'm done with assault builds. I don't think I'm ever gonna use assault ever again as long as i live in this game uh the downsides are just not worth it the downs the downsides seem absolutely not worth it uh 
You know what? I'm very done with that weapon. I'm very done. I'm very done. I'm not I'm not feeling it anymore. Uh flack. Uh, probably Flak plus Halo is pretty good, and then go, uh, Firefly. Hullbreaker on, on Flak sounds meh, but, like, we don't care about fire speed. Like, I'm probably gonna get Burst Fire anyway. Unless it has other downsides I'm not aware of. It's probably the case. I'm not realizing something. I don't know. Assault is one of my favorite bodies. I'm just like, man, I don't like being a glass cannon very much. Uh, whenever possible, I like to have a health bar the size of my screen. Uh, yeah, it's like, oof, that minus 10 maximum shield. Oof, that 90 hull. The fire rate penalty doesn't go away with burst fire. I know it doesn't, but like... Um... Let's see here. What should we go with? You could do Courser, that would be dumb. Battery would be dumb. Viper. Uh... What else we got? Sentinel. Uh, I'm gonna go Firefly, you know what? Let's go Firefly. We go Firefly, we go Rapid Fire and get Burst Fire. We go Velocity. Uh, we go Snipe, obviously. Uh, we go Warpath. Uh, we grab Siege Weaponry. For the, uh, Saturation Fire. I mean, could you imagine this? Just spamming out bullets with seed fire? Come here. Now, I do like to call this the spam the button uh, runs. Because that is what you do. I mean, I love, I love, I love, um... I love doing assault. I just feel like assault plus torrent ain't doing it for me like assault plus split shot is a lot better i feel like i feel like assault plus split shot is a lot better barrage saturation fire on flak is also great too yeah that was what i was thinking of this will give us saturation fire come here there we go Also, Incendiary Strike should be good on this, I believe. It's probably pretty good, I would imagine, on Flak. Dude, Flak, it, Flak is my speed of weapon. It doesn't require you to aim, like, at all. You kind of just vaguely aim in, a, in an enemy's direction, and they kind of just die. It's very, very nice. Like, if we want to talk about weapons that don't need targeting, uh, Flak is right up there right up there as like does not need any sort of targeting god i almost died dude incendiary strike yeah oh wait was that an option I hate the early game. I hate the early game, dude. Was that an option? I didn't see it. Like, at all. But yeah. Is it wrong that I think that Flak is just, uh, is just Railgun but better? Uh... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm shit at aiming with, uh, with, with the, uh, with, with the other one. 
Uh, let's go Flak, Halo, and Firefly. I think that'll be a good, like, burn build. And then we go Incinerary Strike. Incinerary is not is not good on Flak outside of single or strike. But but why not? Huh? But you you fire like when it I guess. Okay, I guess incinerary is not good on anything that I think it is. You know, this game is too complicated. You know, I'll say it. I'll say it, developer. You made you made a game that's too complicated for anyone to understand. Um besides like the smartest of gamers, which is definitely not me. And I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure that a lot of people who who go into a game like this expect to need a fucking college degree to play it. It feels like that sometimes. It really feels like even a game as complicated as Bellatro uh, feels easier to understand than this. Uh, honestly. is based on projectile. Why doesn't it say that anywhere then? Bro, it's based on projectile damage. Why doesn't it say that anywhere in the description? That's genius. That's genius, developer. You put all of these complicated words into the descriptions for weapons, and you don't put that anywhere in there. Yep, okay. Okay. Or if... Let me, that's, that's great. You put all these, like, complicated descriptions together. It does. Really? Oh my god, dude. You need, like, a fucking college textbook to read this shit. Bro, I feel like... I really do. Even even Bellatro is like even Brotato. And Brotato is like a complicated fucking game. Bra. I just you know, this is also the reason why I don't play games like Hades with like a uh, with like uh with like a thousand different things to think about each and every single upgrade. Uh because I uh reading is not my specialty, shall we say. Um we could go regeneration. We could go volley. I don't see why we would go volley. Uh I'm gonna go more burn damage because we have Firefly and the other thing. Imagine if this game didn't require, like, a fucking college textbook to understand. If someone actually, like, wrote a definitive guide for this game, it would be, like, 5,000 pages long. I would not envy anyone who would try to make, like, an actual guide for this game that's, like, fully comprehensive. You know, like, explains everything, every little detail in this game. You'd be, it'd be like longer than fucking world and, uh, world, uh, be fucking longer than, uh, than, uh, than War and Peace, bro. It would. You'd, it, it, it'd be like 5,000 5, pages long. It'd be longer than the, than the compre, than the comprehensive guide that probably exists for, uh, for fucking Hades, bro. I feel like, Jesus Christ, man. There's so many things you need to think about, and it's just like, oh my god. It's just too much reading, dude. Too much reading, too much did not read. Too long, did not read. Don't get me wrong, I love me a good novel. I love me, like, novels and shit, and, you know, I can actually read, like, very complicated material. But when it comes to, like, instruction manuals, fuck, dude. Fuck. I don't fucking know. 
All right, let's get Warpath and uh, hope that that's not a mistake as well. Probably is. There's probably like some sort of hidden downside that uh, you know, you know, I'm supposed to know about uh, with Warpath. I'm I'm sure. I'm almost sure. Uh, purge. There we go. Incendiary strike equals big white number equals big burn. That's such a dumb system anyway. Because it's like... When you want... When you want like... When you want incendiary... When you want like fire damage... When I think of fire damage, I think of like extra damage on like weaker weapons. I don't necessarily think of extra damage on like weapons that are going to kill in like one turn anyway and therefore aren't going to get the benefit of the fire but what do i know maybe that's just me corrosion is what you're thinking of Yeah, because burn doesn't work like burn, and corrosion works like burn. Because, you know, I I guess that's a thing. Like, corrosion works how you would expect burn to work. Like, any logical gamer who's played a video game in the last 10 years would expect burn to work like corrosion. And, you know, vice versa. But maybe that's just me. I feel like I feel like when I think of corrosion, I think of like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do big damage, right? I don't know, maybe that's just me. But I feel like burn does what burn I feel like burn does what corrosion should do, and corrosion does what like it's just a naming problem more than anything, I feel like. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Ignites are confusing. Yeah. Uh, I'm- I'm just so confused by this game, bro. I'm gonna grab Calibrate. I'm trying my best here to understand, but, like, I don't even fucking know anymore, dude. I literally don't even know. And then, also, the fact that- the fact that, like, having more grenades is not better is not intuitive. That's not intuitive at all. I think that should work. I think that more grenades should just work. I don't understand why it doesn't. It's so idiotic to me. Like, it's so... Like, none of the... Like, nothing in this game so far is intuitive. And, uh... It really makes me just want to uninstall it. Uh, honestly. Not a single goddamn thing in this game is intuitive. Uh, as I get more into it. It just gets less and less and less intuitive as you play it. Um, because, like, any common sense would tell you that grenades... Oh, oh, I want to have, like, 400 grenades. But, uh, apparently that's wrong, too, even though, like... I don't fucking know what this game anymore... Why even have battery then? Why even have battery, bro? I thought the whole point of battery was to throw grenades on it and call it good. I. Let's go in Assault Bot against my better judgment telling me that we should just do Sentinel. I don't get that sense with grenades. I just feel like more explosions should just be more better. Or it doesn't make sense that split off into each explosion. I should all just do the same fucking damage, bro. Um I'm gonna grab rapid fire, obviously. Uh I'm gonna grab velocity so we can get calibrate. Battery grenades isn't 
that bad as long as you get singular strike. Which kind of defeats the whole point of uh of battery, doesn't it? So the best way to use battery is to uh not not use it as intended. Gotcha. Yep, this is a game that makes sense. Yep, I'm not just gonna Yep, this is a video game that makes a lot of sense and is very intuitive. You fire a pair of grenades. Ah. I'm still just like, I thought the whole point of, or, I thought the whole point of like battery was to fire like 10 billion grenades. I officially do not understand the video game. I'm very tempted to go for Splinter. I don't know if Infuse would be any good. Um, I could go Incendiary Strike, but no. Uh, Burst Fire is a big old nopers. Well, I mean, Barrage is really good, though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll get Burst Fire. So now we kind of have a shotgun, more or less. There we go. Uh, we'll grab Volley so we can get Focus Fire. There we go. Infuse is not is not amazing, but not terrible either. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, incendiary strike. Um, snipe. Snipe is actually good for this weapon. Focus fire, obviously. We now have the super mod unlocked. It's just a matter of will the game give it to us. We would hope. I would like to hope, anyway. Could you die a little bit faster, bro? Thank you. Uh, I will get bravado because you know I'm not I'm not a coward. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Everything wants to kill me. Everything wants to kill me. I'm gonna die. Okay. Dude, having Calibrate is actually really nice. Because then you can focus your fire a little bit better. I'm guessing we want Fuchsalade, right? I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is the one weapon where we want lots of bullets. Though it doesn't matter because we're gonna die in like the next like couple of hits. God damn it! Come on! I'm gonna throw this- I'm gonna throw this controller into a window. I am so sick of doing- I'm so sick of playing this game now. Uh... God. Oh, man. I don't think we're doing this game tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna play Bellatro. I'm just gonna play Bellatro, honestly. Uh, so I don't have to feel retarded every time I press the play button. Uh, you know. Man, I thought I felt a little bit stupid in that game when I would make some very questionable uh build decisions but man i just feel retarded in this game i feel fucking retarded bro could i have fucking amp there we go uh i'm just gonna go sentinel you know what 
Fuck. Fuck assault. Fuck assault. You know what? Fuck glass cannon builds. Fuck them. Let's just do the Sentinel and Omni Shields thing. Shall we? Honestly, I'd rather just... Honestly, the more I play this game, the less I want to be creative. And the more I just want to do uh, engineer builds because they're blatantly overpowered. They're, e they, they're strong in the early game and strong in the late game. And... Yeah. This game is not a game that makes you go, Wow, I want to be so creative with my builds. It's a game that makes you want to go like, What if I just did engineering builds all day every day? And let the game just win for me. This is a game that after a while you're just like, what if I just did the most boring uh, builds for the game? Uh, oh my god, dude. I hate the first boss so much. Dude. This is a game that when you first play it, you're like, Wow, there's a million builds I could do. And then, uh... And then several hours into it, you realize that Swords plus Engineer is just completely overpowered. Anyway, and, uh, you might as well just do that. You might as well just do that. Honestly. What's the point of doing anything else? You don't have to read, like, a 400-page manual, for one thing, which is always a bonus. Right. I'm gonna get Volley so we can get Focus Fire for Barrage. The insane try harder, I'll say, uh, researcher, and uh, and levy are overpowered. I think uh, I think architect and sword is just the most comically busted shit. It is just the um, why do anything else build? It's the why do literally anything else, right? You start off strong in the early game, and you only get stronger from there, right? You don't have the same problem that every build in this fucking game has, which is that the early game just sucks ass, right? You crush the early game just because you have swords in general. And don't even get me started on swords and hallbreaker. Swords and Hallbreaker is also just completely just wreck the game. Why play anything else the build? Why why play anything else the build? Bro, I'm so fucking mad, dude. I'm so fucking mad. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm so fucking done. With, uh, with super mods, especially. And, uh, everything else this game has to offer. Man. You can always try draft mode. 
That is true, that is true. Uh, then we don't have to worry about the early game at all. Um, magnitude. Yeah, hundreds of damage. Hallbreaker swords is a lot. Yeah, yeah. The why do anything else build? The why even bother with a different build? Build. Uh, Fuchsial Age. Um, adaptive armor so we can get core armor. We also, of course, want Omni Shield. So I don't know why I want adaptive armor exactly. I don't know anymore. I'm just... I don't know why I even play this video game. Uh anymore if we're uh being honest with ourselves uh obviously we're gonna take targeting because targeting is amazing my mom is calling me uh and i'm in the middle of a live stream so i could care less also literally anything with hall breaker is uh completely overpowered adaptive armor is good on on omni shields oh wait do armor stacks count for shield damage is that a thing i have no idea chat i don't even know anymore wouldn't surprise me that even though it's called armor stacks and it's called adaptive armor that it would include shields as well and not just hull. You know, because that makes sense. That made sense to somebody. I get it though, they're both, they're both armor. But it's like, when I think of armor, I think of, oh, shields. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm just not. Uh, let's not. Let's just do the uh, why even bother try hard special. I hate this video game. I I literally hate this video game. I literally don't want to play anymore. Fuck this game. Like, fuck this game, dude. There's also channeling, which makes sense on shields. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. There we go. Grab regeneration, and then we'll immediately grab rapid reconstruction. Because why even bother uh, playing anything else in this game? Why even bother? Why even bother trying to be good at the game? When, uh, you can just say Law Swords and Torrents and shit. The most overpowered shit in the game is just, like, Torrents. Um. Yeah. Like, in general, in general, once you get, like, Torrents going, maybe this game isn't for you. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Um, dude, why they make this game so fucking complicated, bra? They didn't have to make this game half as complicated as they did. In my opinion, um, uh, I'm going to go.
grab a battalion. I mean, it doesn't sound good to play a game that you don't enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. I was like, man, man, this game is pretty casual and relaxing and fun. And uh, now I'm not having fun anymore. Because it's just like, oh. Uh, we're going to grab Terminal Directive because, again, why do anything creative whatsoever in this video game? Why bother when you can just win the game by literally selecting swords and engineer and not even have to play the video game, really? You just kind of spam the attack button until you win. Honestly, why even play the video game? Honestly, I'd like to uh, ask the developer uh, why. Why did you make this game as complicated as it is? And why did you make it like so much harder than it was in the early access days? Bro. It's also that I don't like the new bosses. Like, some of the new bosses are not fun. Dweller is fun. Uh, Crucible is just not fun to play. Crucible can go fuck itself. Uh, honestly, Crucible can go fuck itself as a boss. I personally think that boss can go fuck itself. Uh, I think Crucible can go uh, to hell. Uh, honestly, I think they could remove Crucible from the game and it would just be a better video game. Honestly. Uh, they just made Crucible too fucking overpowered, in my opinion. Oh yeah, let's give it two health bars when every other boss doesn't have two health bars. Yeah, let's make it, let's make it have a fucking, let's make it harder than the fucking final boss. Let's make it harder than the fucking final boss. I hate Crucible. Crucible is easily, easily the worst boss that exists in this video game. Easily. It's not even a contest. Bro, it's not even a contest. I fucking hate crucible this game would be a thousand times better if that boss just didn't fucking exist i want to grab the developer by the throat and just ask him why did you put Crucible into the fucking game when it's harder than literally every other boss? Oh yeah, let's just put a boss that belongs in a different video game 
in our video game. Like what? It doesn't even feel like it's in the right video game. Most of the, like, the, all of these other, like, nemesis bosses, at least they feel like they belong in the video game. Then you have Crucible, that doesn't even feel like it's in the same fucking video game. Bro. Why? Why? Crucible can honestly Honestly message to the developers fuck yourselves for making crucible go fuck yourself Crucible is the worst fucking boss in this entire video game it doesn't even feel like a boss from nova drift it feels like they took a boss from another video game and just slapped it into this video game and of course it's not going to be balanced at all why is that boss harder than literally every other boss like, do you know how much better Nemesis mode would be if it just didn't contain that enemy? If that enemy just didn't exist anywhere in the game's code? There's not even a way you could really debuff that enemy either because the problem is its stupid fucking attack patterns. And like, how are you gonna fix that? How are you gonna make it feel like it belongs in the video game? Like, at its core problems, it should just be removed. Like, honestly. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't like super mods. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Super mods was uh, definitely a feature that they decided on. It's definitely a feature that they uh, that they decided on. If you can call it that. Oh, rush for the super mod. Yep, that feels fun. That feels fun, man. That feels fun. Uh, I'm gonna grab skirt. I'm probably gonna grab evolutionary Nesh. But yeah, here we go again with the uh, with the UN build. Just the uh, UN build. I'm I'm literally so done. Let's never play this again. Ay 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 dude. Could you imagine how much better this game would be if Crucible wasn't in it? Let's add a boss from a different video game. Yeah! Yeah, that's smart, devs! Let's add a boss from a different video game! Fuck you, devs! Let's give him like two bars of HP. Let's make him have a billion health. Let's make him have a billion health. Do like a billion damage to you. 
have a, an attack pattern that's fucking impossible to dodge. That was a great idea from the developers. Yep, that was such a wonderful idea. Yep, that was such a good fucking idea. My fucking god. You know, you got all these, like, fucking super mods and complicated tech tree paths to go down, you know? And then you just got swords. It just fucking, like, wrecks everything anyway. Nanotech disassembulation uh, redirects 12% of the damage your standard advance contracts takes to itself plus self damage resistance it drops a nanotech cluster sure why not oh man dude I... It's been a long, long four hours. Uh, we've had one good build. And only because it was completely overpowered. Because that's exactly how this game works. You're either overpowered or you're underpowered. There's no fucking in between. Oh yeah, let's release this game this year. That feels like... This definitely feels like it's ready. This game definitely feels like it's ready. With uh, Crucible existing at all in the game. Could you imagine just how much better runs would be if you didn't have fucking Crucible? Could you imagine, dude? Honestly, that boss sucks. Why would they even add a boss like that? It doesn't follow the same game design philosophy. It doesn't feel like it belongs in the game. It literally feels like they slapped a boss from a different video game into this video game. Bro. Oh yeah, you can't screen warp. You know, the thing that like every other boss in the game lets you do because you know it's a core feature of the design philosophy of this game and how you move yeah they didn't think that you know the boss was too overpowered as is no no let's also also make it so that it disables warping yeah that makes sense also last stand is fucking useless last stand is garbage could you imagine if you could have an extra life without it costing like 90 percent of your health and shields could you imagine having a second life that all it does is it just revives you once on death it doesn't have any negatives, any downsides. It's just a fucking extra life. Could you imagine how nice that would be? You know, if Last Stand had no downsides whatsoever and was just an extra life and wasn't completely useless. 
Like, what are you gonna do with, like, less than 90% of your health just gone? What are you gonna do? Like, what's the point of that extra life? That's like if in Mario, you had, like, your fucking extra lives, right? But, uh, but, but, uh, but every time, every time you died, you were crippled and you had one of your legs broken. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, devs. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, this last stand is such a good super mod. Especially compared to all the other super mods in the game. Like, what? You mean to tell me you have all of these overpowered fucking super mods, but you couldn't just make last stand not cripple you? You couldn't just make the game. Even Hades, even Hades, which is a much harder game, has extra lives that don't cripple you. Even Hades. Which is considered harder than fucking Dark Souls. Has like death defiances that don't just like cripple you upon using them. I know, crazy, right? It's not like it takes away your like, you know, 90% of your health uh, permanently for the rest of the run because you died. Otherwise, like, why would you... Why would you pay the mirror, like, so much for a fucking death defiance? Bro. Hello, Alfredo the Meat Boy. I am fucking so done with this game. I fucking... Hate. I fucking hate how none of these builds are intuitive at all. I hate how grenades are not intuitive. I hate how nothing in this video game is intuitive. This game went through a great development cycle. Uh, AK, the developers have no fucking idea how to make a video game. They just don't know how to make video games. I mean, clearly, they had a good video game going on, and then they decided to ruin it with, like, this asshole over here, Crucible. They had a good video game going on, and then they decided, what if we ruin it? What if we ruin it? They had a good video game going on. They decide, what if we ruin it? This boss sucks, dude. Look, does this boss even remotely look like it belongs in this video game? I'll tell you what, it does not. Really, really doesn't. I mean, all of a sudden, we have, like, obstacles to dodge, and, like, you can't warp. It's like, bro, this guy is clearly harder than, like, the final boss. Like, both versions of the final boss. This should just be the fucking final boss. Jesus Christ, dude. The only reason we got past that is because we have a fucking overpowered build. Crucible is a cancer on this game. Crucible is a cancer on this game. I hate Crucible so fucking much. Dude. Crucible is by far, in every way, the hardest boss in the game right now. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing.
yeah crucible is the definition of adding something that um you didn't really need in the game at all last stand is the example of adding something that you really didn't need at all you know how much more fun this game would be if you got a death defiance that actually worked like a death defiance you know every other d developer for the last like since video games came out has figured out how extra lives work but this backwards ass developer still hasn't despite you know an extra life being a pretty hard thing to screw up a pretty hard thing to screw up in a video game like you'd have to be retarded to screw up an extra life in this game but they managed to with last stand they managed to do it boy howdy did they manage to do it it's like oh yeah what if your extra life just crippled you like imagine what if you were playing like like super mario bros right and you died you came back but both of your legs were broken and you couldn't jump anymore would that be a fun video game would you enjoy playing that video game imagine you played fucking hades and like your arm broke because you're dead you died would that be a fun video game still would that still be fun Even developers that do like extremely hard games like Supergiant knows that an extra life should just be a fucking extra life. And if you're going to cripple the player with an extra life, then you might as well not even have it in the game. Even Supergiant knows that one. Even Dark Souls knows that one. That's why Dark Souls doesn't have any extra lives. That's why they were like, eh, why bother with extra lives? You know, you want our game to be hard. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. But crippling you for having an extra life. That's genius. That is that is genius game design. That is that is amazing, dude. Bro. Imagine getting your legs cut off because you died. Would that would that be a fun video game experience? If uh, if Hades was walking around hobbling on one foot, would would you enjoy that game more? Would that make your experience more better? Would that would that make would that improve your quality of life? You know it's bad when I'm talking about games that I don't even like. That I don't even like. Like, I don't like games like Hades at all. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? They, they, they have easier, fairer gameplay than this bullshit going on. You know, that's bad. I'm like, a much harder game in some respects has, like... Oh, here we are. Wave 100. We beat the game. What a surprise. We have the overpowered build that is engineering plus swords when everything else in the game is too goddamn weak like salvo is only good if you do a specific build it's great it's great dude great i love that so many of these uh these things are only good if you have a specific type of build But yeah, in my opinion, Last Stand should just be an extra life. It should have no negative penalties. It should just be like very simple. You know, it's a one-time use. You can never pick this up again. It banishes itself from the item pool, of course. You know, because it's a super mod, you can only pick it up once. And it's just an extra life. That's all it does. That's all it needs to do. Or just why even have it in the video game? Imagine if fucking Zagreus 
It's fucking hopping on one leg in Hades. I can't believe I fucking said Hades was hobbling on one leg. You don't actually play as Hades, FYI, you guys. You play as Zag. Um. Yeah, I don't want that. Could you imagine if this didn't have the experience earned from orbs? This didn't increase the distance. This didn't, like, reborn you with 60% negatives. This didn't have a massive blast. All it did was very simply, it get, it just lets you die once, one time. Imagine if that was all it did. We don't need, like, this complicated bullshit. How do you overcomplicate an extra life in a video game? How do you overcomplicate an extra life? And Crucible should just go to hell, frankly. I think I, I don't. Oh my god, dude. Obviously, we're gonna take evolution. But yeah, I love how Salvo, you know, only is only good for like one build and that's about all it does. Salvo is just fucking terrible, dude. Fucking it's like, oh yeah, yeah, let's make a weapon that that you have to do something very specific. You're not allowed to have any fun at the video game and be creative with Salvo. You just got to do the one thing. awesome dude grenade is awesome too uh you know weapon velocity i'm just gonna grab tactical link there we go Wave 140. Bro, I gotta be honest. Let's just fucking play some Bellatro after this. I've never wanted to play Bellatro more in my goddamn life. Dude, you know it's bad when I can honestly say that Bellatro is a less complicated and easier to get into game. I just want to shoot lots of bullets. Is that too much to ask from the video game? I just want to I just want to shoot like an insane amount of rounds and just call that a build. But no, I need to go for my super mods and do this, that, and the other thing. I need to suck, suck off, like, the game, you know. Yeah, give me improved thrusters. I mean, we could do all this complicated shit for, like, uh, a silo build or something. We could do all this complicated shit, or we could just, you know, win the game with swords. Because swords are just disgusting right now. Look at this. This just breaks the game. I'm fucking... I'm fucking upset, Alfredo. I'm fucking upset, dude. I'm fucking upset, my guys. I 
I can't believe Bellatro sounds like an easier game where I don't have to think as much. Like right now, Bellatro sounds like a game where I don't have to use half as much brain power. Which is just insane to me. It's absolutely insane, dude. That Bellatro sounds like less of a brain cruncher than this game. Like, honestly, Bellatro is already a game that'll make you feel stupid. This game will make you feel retarded unless you're a, a fucking rocket scientist. Unless you're a fucking rocket scientist. Fucking hell, dude. Gotta read, like, so much text and so many, like, percentages, and it's just like, uh... Imagine if video games didn't have percentages and shit. Imagine if they, if upgrades were upgrades in a video, in roguelikes, right? And they just made your shit magically better. Imagine. Imagine a world where upgrades were upgrades. And you didn't have to deal with all these percentages and math and complicated fucking algebraic fucking crap. Remember when video games were simple and you didn't have to use any brain power to play them? You could just, like, not be the brightest tool in the shack and still have fun? Dude. I'm gonna go ahead and fucking kill this guy. Oh my god, dude. I just wanna fucking explode. Longer you avoid enemies and celestial hazards, meh, volley, death blossom, uh, I'm gonna go with blank. So now we have a warp, which is good. There we go. Come here, boy. Come here. Get wrecked. Get owned. Get pawned on. Get pawned on, dog. Dude. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this guy's butthole open. Let's never do a complicated build in this game again. Let's never do anything that requires any amount of brain power ever again in this game. Because honestly, I have more fun just playing it like an idiot, dude. Like, honestly, this is more fun than, like, whatever big brain strat. and sap I don't want uh reserves thrusters burn damage uh I'll go for kinetic boost
Honestly, let's play uh, literally anything else tomorrow. I think that's the plan for tomorrow's stream. Literally anything else. The run. This fucking game and requiring, like, brain power and breeding and shit. You hate that. You know, I felt pretty smart the other day. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I came up with all these cool builds and stuff, and now I'm just like, meh. Meh. I'm very meh as I play this now. I'm very meh. I'm very meh. It's like I've had all the, all the fun drained out of me by this fucking game. Oh, that's fun. That's just like the Wave 100 boss with uh, with a little buddy, too. That's great. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're so fucked. That's fair. That's so fair and balanced. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done, dude. I'm so fucking done, dude. I'm done. Just chuck the f just chuck the fucking controller at the wall. Let's go ahead and raid out. Let's go ahead and raid out. I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done, dude. I'm so fucking done, bro. I'm so fucking done. Uh, bro, this game. Yeah. Finding out that Signaler Strike is so powerful and shit really doesn't make me want to play the game anymore. Because, you know, I thought the whole point of Silo was to fire, like, millions of missiles, but no. No, you just get Signaler Strike and you completely ruin the whole point of what makes Salvo fun. You get grenade and you ruin the whole point of what makes grenade fun. Fuck these developers. I hope they go get COVID and die. Fuck them. Fuck them. Honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bruh. Making it so that the whole point of, um,. Man, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end stream, bro. I'm so fucking done, dude. I'm so fucking done. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, we're gonna fucking, um, we're gonna raid out. We're gonna fucking raid out, bro. We're gonna fucking raid out before I fucking punch my monitor. Before I, like, just, before I just, like, before I actually just punch my monitor. I'm fucking done, dude. I'm not having fun anymore.